All right, guys, believe it or not, I'm going to be screwing around with Mario Kart 8 for a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to do the single player, I guess, for now. Go through some of the um, tracks. So you guys know, I got a, my old Switch broke, so I got a new Switch. Uh, so I'm, like, doing this all over. Pretty much starting from the beginning here. <laughs> Bum ba dum bum. All right, that's been a while, so. Got to get myself back into this here. Terrible start. So there's um, there's drift and all that. You know, it's like it's a lot of this is the same as the Super Nintendo game. I you know I grew up with the, the Super Nintendo game more so. So, but this game's great. Uh, this is probably honestly this is probably my favorite Mario Kart other than the Super Nintendo one. And it looks fantastic. I mean, Oh, got back to first somehow. But da da da. Whoa. Ba -ba -da -da. I'm gonna get wrecked here. Seems like it. Oh, right before the ending too, right? Fuck your fuckers, fuckers. I'm just gonna make it. Come on! Alright. First place. There we go. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Yeti? Hey, soldier. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, Rock you, man. Airpenny123 and Justin Garber, all with the subs. Uh, and thanks for the tier one sub, Justin Garber. What's up, Guitar Lock? Hey, True Dash. You would never think I would play this. I did. I did a review of it when it came out. Tony, too cool. Maybe you missed it. That's cool, Justin Garber. Alright. So, one of the things about this game that I really think is cool is my favorite part of Mario Kart, for me personally, was always the battle mode. And they never really, since, I, I mean, I really like the Super Nintendo Mario Kart battle, like, battle mode, because I liked all the, um, like, the battle arenas on that. Uh, the N64 one, I loved the block fort, but some of the other maps, there's, like, four maps. There's, like, the, 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 the donut one, the block fort, and then, then the two other ones, and really, like, it's really only the, like the block fort I really liked on that. Where the Super Nintendo one, all the maps, um, I liked all four of the maps. Um, but this one, uh, you know, has that same um, battle mode. Now I haven't played much of it, but I'm so happy that it like they brought it back and what it seems to be like in the in the right way. Um, so they, they did a really, they did a good job with that. Now, when this came out on the Wii U, that was my sore point with this game, uh, was that the battle mode on the Wii U version of this was crappy because it was like it was like battle modes on uh, on race tracks like this, and it, it made no sense because you have to have like battle arenas, and it was it just it made absolutely no sense. But they fixed it since. And when I reviewed this game, that was my that was my gripe with it. Was uh, 
was that they they did that. It was it was super bizarre on, on the Wii U. Um, oh my god! Oh you motherfucker! Um, so yeah, but they, they they have since rectified that. So uh, you know the the Switch version of it is much better. And it's a, a beautiful looking. Thank you, uh, Slinky270306, for the sub and Big Slim. Yeah, so, like, I really. I played this game mostly on uh, on the Wii U. That's when I played it when it first came out. And I did, I did a little review of it and what I thought of it and stuff. And uh, it was literally, I did it, I think, the first week it came out. Um. And actually, what you're gonna see right here, where it says "Next Race" and "View Highlight Reel," when this originally came out on the Wii U, they had those swapped, and it was really annoying because, like, you would just like you'd be clicking A to get to the next race, and it would go to view highlight reel. And like most of the time, you don't want to view the highlight reel. Like, it's a nice option to have that there; it's cool, but usually you just want to go to the next race. So I was like, they need to swap that, and then they did afterwards. Um, so just like little things like that that they fixed, but the, the major thing that you know they fixed was that there was the battle, and it's it's like so much better now. Now it's fantastic. So oh, the golden ice stream. Yeah, I'll be putting the golden ice stream up as soon as, soon as I can. you guys might be able to help me out as I go through this, um, since I'm like starting Mario Kart 8 over again. Um, I want to I want to pay special close attention to the uh, to the carts themselves and the wheels and the the sail and all that, so that we get the best cart we can we can get. I'd like to uh, I'd like to maximize my my cart. And make it a uh, make it make it a really good cart. So we'll we'll look at that when I uh, when I can. I feel I feel like at the moment I think I have just about the best thing I can have. But uh, you know you gradually unlock stuff as you as you beat tracks and all that. And what am I doing? Doing out here. Um, so we'll take a look at that when I when I get there. Oh my god, and I'm wrecking myself. It's a disaster right now. Love this course too. I mean, the first time I played this course. Um, I just like, it was like, this was like my favorite course. And then they added a bunch of courses. Like, there's like the Zelda one, and uh, there's an Animal Crossing one, and all that stuff that they, they put in there. And we'll, and we'll check all those out. God, I'm doing really, really, really badly. What the fuck am I doing? Go. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, you mothers, you're fucking gonna do this to me at the last second? Oh my god. What a wreck. Destroyed. <laughs> Animal Crossing hype. Koopa Stormtrooper. You always pick Mr. Scooty as or Wheels and Daisy Glider. Okay, well I have to like unlock shit again. I'm just like starting this over. Thanks, Broom Hatter. Broom Hatter, by the way, have you played uh, the, oh, what's the name of the game? That is it Kirby Superstar, like the golfing Super Nintendo Kirby game? Um, I was playing a little bit of that earlier. It's a cool game, I think. I think it's Kirby Superstar, right? Am I getting that right? 
someone on Super Nintendo where you can kind of like golf around, like court golf, sort of. You, you're golfing Kirby, and you're like knock, knocking him into broom hatters. And... Kirby's uh, Dream Course, actually. Wait, that's the name of it. Screen, somebody says Screen Course. That's what, that's what I meant. me versus Larry. Good old Larry. Broomhatter says, yes, I have. It's Dream Course. Broomhatter is on the cover. Yes. I have uh, that one. I don't really like it, but the uh, Kirby's uh, Dream Land, Kirby's Dream Land 3 for Super Nintendo. It's like kind of rare, but it's, I don't, I don't like that. I like Dream Course. <laughs> Dr. Mutton Chops, um... <laughs> Larry! <laughs> uh, I don't really play, um, fighting games that much, Death by Moogle. Yeah, it's 200cc. Kirby Stream Land 3 is just so mediocre. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't really like that, but Dream Course is, is cool. Is that your favorite uh, Kirby game, Broom Hatter, or is it, um... I mean, I also, I really like Kirby's Adventure on NES, too. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, is it over already? I guess I did them all. I didn't realize that was the last one. I guess that was the last one. Man, that went by quick. <laughs> do, 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 do. Cool. All right. So moving along. If my switch wants to move along, um, we go to the next. Uh, yeah, and it's got like. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I was doing 200 CC. Somebody was asking. I always use Koopa Troopa. It's just that's I that's what I do. I don't want to like start like changing shit up. So I don't look like Links in here or whatever. So I'm just a Koopa Troopa guy. I always have been. All right, what are they gonna give me now? Now is this gonna be any better than what I had? Different wheel. 
wheel. So I was using the red wheel. So let's see on the stats. All right, well, it's, oh, it's got better speed. Come on. Uh, wait, where was I? I was, what is it doing? No, it was on here. All right, acceleration was there. And the new tire is this one. Oh, oh, the acceleration is better with the red wheels. Uh, the weight is better, or the weight is better with the red wheels. So I don't know, I'll, I'll probably stick with the red ones then, I guess, right? I don't know, if, if you guys got any recommendations, like, so here's the different shit that I have. If you guys got, of what I have so far, any recommendations of uh, what I should be doing here. Right now I've got it on this, this, and uh, this, I think I have it, but... PS5 has audio, Jesus Christ, what a thing. Oh yeah, I guess they're like talking about PS5 stuff right now, they're doing some kind of announcement or something, right? You know they're in trouble if they're hyping the audio. <laughs> and what is it? It's like a, a CD player. Okay, no run. No, no one run. Uh, you could tweet that to me or something. Well, I'm always, I'm usually hiding out anyway, pizza gamer. <laughs> so. comes with a CD player it should a lot of the um like uh you know older systems what was I trying to think of in particular uh, like some of the games you could just like was it like Sega Saturn I think I think I'm thinking of Sega Saturn where it's just like you could like load it and then it lo like loads like a, as a CD player like as well it even has like a, a sort of a CD player uh thing like on the screen I think Like when you first like load up the Saturn, I think I think it's the Saturn. I think I'm thinking of with like the CD player thing. That's how I'm gonna listen to all my music from now on. All my all my CDs, I'm gonna listen to it on Sega Saturn. There you go. PS One, oh, and PS One as well. Yeah, PS One. But but Saturn too, right? It'd be even cooler if you did it on Saturn. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll just uh, hang on to this stuff right here. I do have one thing that's happening to me as as I'm playing so far that I like to figure out is like I keep I keep coming to almost like coming to complete stops somehow, and I don't know how it's happening. So that's one little issue I'm I'm having. It's, it's probably me doing. It. I don't know exactly how what's happening, but other than that, it's, it's mostly all right here. Okay, so I did. Uh, so like I said, I'm starting this game over uh, before I started here. I did, I did that one, I guess. And then, what do I have done? I have, and I think I have one more done, don't I? I thought I did one other one. No, I didn't. All right, so it's just, it's just these two. All right, so I guess I, we can just go, go in order then, I guess. I'll go to the uh, Star Cup, I guess. I can't remember not really, I don't think I like the airport stage, but, uh, I like that last, I think I remember liking the last one, the Mount Wario. This is, this track is one of my less favorite ones. What else is there? This one I like. This has the Rainbow Road. Uh, this one's really cool. Cheeseland. I like the Animal Crossing stage. Uh, this one's all right. And I don't really, I never, I never liked Toad's Turnpike with the fucking cars. Um, Donut Plains. There you go. That's what I like. I would love if they put all of the Super Nintendo levels in it. If they could make, if they could just put everything from Super Nintendo into this fucking game, just release a fucking Super Nintendo track and just put everything, just just like recreate the Super Nintendo game. I'd be like happy as a pig and shit. Um, Wario Stadium, Sherbert Land. Sherbert Land is cool. Um, that's from the uh, Double Dash, I think. And 
See, there, that's the real Rainbow Road there. The, like, the, you know, I don't know about this Rainbow Road. This Rainbow Road's weird to me, but I, li I like the N64 Rainbow Road. See, it would be cool if they had the, uh... Honestly, you know what? The N64 one really had the best Rainbow Road, as much as I love the Super Nintendo game. Um... Oh shit, it does have the fucking Super Nintendo Rainbow Road. I forgot. Oh, we're doing that. I want to fucking see that again. And then, oh yeah, and then the Zelda uh, thing. Yeah, well, I'll, I'm just going to jump to this now. I forgot that they put... I obviously haven't played this in a while, so I'm like... It's kind of like, since I haven't played it in a while, it's, it's kind of, some of these things are kind of fresh to me. I'm, again, I'm like, oh yeah, they put that in here. I forgot. I, didn't, I haven't see, even seen the Zelda track in a while, so... So it's been a, it's been a while. Because you guys know my Switch broke, so I haven't really been switching it up too much for quite a while. But now we're good once again. I, fi I finally broke down and just got another one. <laughs> took me a long time to, to get over it. You fucker. You bunch of bullshit. No. Hate that shit. Let's use it while we got it. Oh my god, I almost went off the side of the track. This reminds me of some Disney Thunder Mountain kind of kind of deal. Da, 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 da. Oh, you fucker! Somebody got themselves that lightning bolt. Wouldn't that be awesome if you land on that? Red shell, red shell, come on. Fuck! This far. Is that baby Mario? No, it was regular Mario. Fuck you, Mario. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, he's, he's winning, huh? God damn it. God damn it. That sucks per matter. What's up, BH Camaro? Hey, Nikki Fog, thank you very much for gifting the sub to Nick Vick. What a ba da ba. Oh, the music. Super Nintendo Mario Kart, by the way, is my favorite Super Nintendo game, without, without a doubt. Without, without a doubt. Yes, more so than Link to the Past or whatever else. That's my favorite Super Nintendo game. Oh, 
already fall off? Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, that, like that, right there. That's what's happening, and I don't know what, how it's happening. Blow up, motherfucker. Damn. Was that, uh, no, Toad was ahead of me that time. All right, so, it gives me a little catch up. Barely, so I basically have to win this next one. All right, well, it's all down to this. This is the last, this is Zelda, right? Oh, actually, wait, no, there's two more, isn't there? Let's see. Mike, what is your favorite Mario Kart game? The Super Nintendo one. And this is, I think this one's my second favorite. Before when when it was on uh, when it was on Wii U, no. But with the improvements and stuff, they've changed, made and added things to it and everything. I think I like this one more now, more than I used to. If you would have asked me, I would have said zero chance of me winning that. Holy crap. Hey, thank you, uh, Zach8870. Miracle, like I said. Yeah, it was a fucking, that was a fucking miracle. I, I, I thought I was going to take like fourth there. That's Mario Kart, baby. I guess you're right. I guess that's true, isn't it? Here we go. Here's Hyrule.
that. What, what is happening? I gotta figure that out, what's happening. God. Fuck! God damn it. Oh, I took it though. I took it anyway. Fuck yes. I thought I, I thought I lost my one. Oh my god, I can fucking do it. Whew. All right. Cool. Da da da. Barely. Thank you, Retro Gaming Night, for subbing tier one. Thank you very much. Oh, this steering assist is making me stop like that? Is that what it is? There's, what is that? I don't think I ever, I don't remember that. How do I turn that shit off? I'm gonna, I gotta turn that off. Um, oh, it's probably like, isn't it in the game when you like pause or something, you can do that? It's either that or gyro start when you were in the game. Yeah, start when I'm in the game. That's what I thought. Like, cause they, yeah. All right, I'll go to the next thing and oh, they give me something new. Let's see. How's this thing? Let's see. Well, that actually looks like it might not be bad. Um, so otherwise I had, I mean, let's, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take that, I'll try that, I don't know. Um, actually, wait a second. Can I fix this shit here? I think, no, I think I have to do it when I'm in the race. All right, I, I guess I'll get this one over with that I don't really wanna do. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Tingle Jill, for the raid. Do I like Ninja Gaiden? I do very much. I think you know that. Alright, uh... I guess it's that, huh? Is it the smart steer steering thing? Like, I don't know what that shit is. Alright, I think, I think hopefully that's the thing that's fucking me up. We'll see. We shall see. Motherfucker. You motherfucking shell. Am I gonna get another one up my ass?
Oh my god, what did I just do? Trouble with the corners. Whoa. Don't you even fucking try that shit. That's fine. You can hit me after I go past the finish line. Sin and Punishment you played the other day is just like Panzer Dragoon's control scheme. As a matter of fact, even the game's graphics look very similar. Yeah, I just put uh, put that video out. Uh, Sin and Punishment. That was that was a pretty fun game. Mike Mate, A L O, or whatever you're doing there. Uh, uh, bike or cart? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I usually use the cart, but I, I mean, I, the bikes are right, uh, too. Uh, it doesn't, either one, I don't know. It, I, it's, that's not really what matter. It's more like a, whatever has, like, I usually like to pick the, like what has the best, like, handling. Because I guess that's what I have trouble with with this. Um, so I, I don't think it really mattered that matters too much to me, but I, I probably use the cart more. No, I'm not using a wheel, uh, FC. Thank you, Phoenix Force. What Nintendo should make for the next Mario Kart is go back to the original name, just call it Super Mario Kart. Um, I don't know about that. See, that's I don't see. I don't know if I agree with that because then that, that takes the place of the name of the original game. Like, there's one Super Mario Kart, and that's the Super Nintendo game. You know, let let the Super Nintendo game keep its name. Uh, so I don't know. About, I don't know if I like that idea. Now, if they were to make it a total remake, maybe, of the Super Nintendo game or something, then, then maybe I'd have less of a problem with that. But, um... I, I don't think that, you know... I would imagine they're just gonna, if, when they eventually do it, it'll just be Mario Kart 9, I would, th I would think. I mean, that's, that's what people would be waiting for. I don't even know what they could do beyond, like, beyond this, though. It's kind of like, this game looks so good. It's like, how do you even, where do you even go from this game? I mean, the only other thing you can really do is more tracks. Like, like, like at this point, they, they, they fucking have this shit down now. Because with like cartoony thing like this, it's like I don't, I don't, I really don't even know where, where they could get, you know, how they can make it much better. It's 
like some fucking Kenny G like music on this level here. Oh, this fucking gets us one second after. Thank you, Dojacked, for the tier one sub. They should add a 400 CC class. That I think they should. I think they should add. I think they should add more. I think they should do that now for this game. Add 250. Add 300. 350. They totally should do that. That would make me more interested in this, cause like I'll I'll get through, you know, 200. So like see the C again, you know, it's like not really. They should definitely put in higher. Um, one that that's a really good idea actually. I, I'd like to see that. Am I playing 200 right now? I am. Yeah. I I so just a little history on me with this game. So I bought this game on uh, Wii U. Just Mario Kart 8, and I played it back then, and that's when I did all this. Um, and then I got it again when I got my Nintendo Switch, or my, originally, and I played it uh, some then, but then my Nintendo Switch broke, so then I, I didn't play the Switch version of it for a really... I haven't played the Switch version of it for a long time. Um, so I've, like, forgotten, like, a lot of the cool things about this that I like. Um, so, you know, I bought a new Switch a couple weeks ago or something. Um, so I'm now, like, getting back into Switch stuff a little bit since I have it again. Um, but, yeah, uh, so really when I was playing this, I was playing this on Wii U. Yes, I was one of those Wii that owned a Wii U and actually played it. I, I was one of four people that did that, I know. But... I don't know. I, I had the Wii U, and I, I played it, and I, I liked the Wii U, and I had a lot of good games. Like Mario Kart 8. I still think of this game as a Wii U game, because I, I played this mostly when it was on Wii U. All they can really do is combine features from all the Mario Kart games in the game that and add a harder CC class. Yeah, um, I agree with that. Add, add, a, add a harder class. Um, you, could, you could obviously design different stages. Uh, the graphics are really about as good, like, this is about as good as it really needs to be here. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess you can make them better from here, but like, what more, like, this looks like as good as a fucking cartoon like here. It's like, you know, it looks great. Um, like, I don't think it need, like, the graphics need much more than this. Um, really, it's, I mean, it has the battle mode. The only thing I can think they could add is, like, so the battle that they have in this with, like, the balloons and stuff they have, um, like, uh, what is it? They have, like, one of the Super Nintendo courses, I think, but, like, they don't have the ice level from the Super Nintendo game. Um, just put in, like, all... They should put in all the tracks from all the previous games. Like, just give us everything from all the previous games, like, in, in this. Now, they've already given you a lot. Um, like, they have a remake of certain stages, but it would be awesome if they literally remade all the old tracks from all the old games. That's, like, the thing that they could do beyond this, I think. Uh, and maybe... Uh, Maybe adding in, I don't know, they could pull a Smash Brothers and start putting like other like characters into it, like to where you could play a Sonic and stuff like that, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I don't think that's really necessary though. I, I like that it, it's like, I like that they keep it like Mario Mario shit. I, so I don't even know if I would want to see them do that. Um, and they already like put like Link in here. So like that's already like not really. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, I don't know if I want to see, like, fucking Master Chief, like, going around in, in Mario Kart or some shit like that, you know? Or whatever. Fucking Simon Belmont driving around, like, or, or like, whoever. So, I, I, don't, I don't think that that's the answer for me, you know? VR? Oh, VR Mario Kart? I mean, if they made it good... I mean, sure. If if they could pull it off and actually make it awesome, then sure. Uh, I think we're I think we're years off from that uh, being a possibility. But someday, someday, sure. If they ever got it VR that good, then yeah, okay. 
Super Smash Kart. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Smash Brothers Mario Kart mix up. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I don't know. I don't know how you do that without ruining <laughs> what both of the games are. But oh god, a terrible start. Oh my god. Oh, awful. Jesus. If I pull this one out of the fire. Oh, hey! Oh my god. I can't fucking see shit. God damn it. Oh, I, I was I like, going the wrong... Fu that totally fucked me up. Oh my god. I think I was going the wrong way. Wow, that was fucking horrendous. Totally fucked me up. I, I got so confused where I was. Oh my god. No. Alright, well, it's over now. Oh my god. Now they're... Oh my god. They're just fucking bending me over me. Bending me over fucking me now. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's over. <sighs> Terrible. Well that was a fucking disaster. Oh my god. Well, I don't know. And knock the fucking toad out, maybe. I don't know. That was a shit show. <laughs> Epic racing at its finest, yeah. Well, basically, I gotta knock Toad's ass out, and then it's the only chance, really, there is. Let's see what happens. I do a full stream of slalom for NES. Oh god. Alright, 
right, where's Toad at? As long as he doesn't, if he comes in. Oh, yes! Fuck you, Toad! That's right! That's exactly what I needed to happen. Ah! ah, ah, ah. Am I streaming the new Doom asking for a friend? I'm sure I will, yeah. When does that come out now? Is it is it this month or next month? It's this month, isn't it? Actually, isn't it like really soon? Like a week or something? green shell hit me. Oh yeah, there you go, that's better. Alright. Let's just keep that up. Hey, stream you deserve. Cynical says that he sucks at spelling. You play this with a steering wheel? Crazy eyes, not since I went to that bunker uh, on the 007. Fuck that. Thanks, Fruit TV. Thanks, game. That's really gonna help me. Ah. All right, whatever. I'll take third. 
Yoshi is the best, says Hugh. Booger Nose says no drive assist. Now, I turned it off because it was doing a thing where uh, I was trying to make turns and like it was like slowing me down a lot and it was actually like really annoying. And actually, I haven't noticed this since I turned it off, so I think it was fucking me up. Um, I don't really know. Um, I guess I'm not sure what the drive assist is even supposed to do. Like, why would it, why would you want the cart to assist you? Like, I just want to drive the cart. You, you hate the assist in this game? Yeah, well, like, what is it supposed to do? Like, why it steers and brakes for you? Well, that's the whole fucking point of the game is to, is to drive the fucking cart yourself. So why, like, that's dumb. I didn't know that was in there. And you know what's another thing? They fucking, they turn that on, like, by default. So you have to, like, turn that shit off. This is, this is another one of those fucking things that they're doing to fucking, like, play the game for you. They're all about doing things to play the game for you now, these days. What about that in, like, Mario Maker, like, the, the automatic levels, and then you have the, the guide, which I know you don't have to use it. You don't have to use the uh, auto assist thing. You don't have to use any of these things. For Mario Maker, you don't, have to, you don't have to play those levels. You can play other people's levels. Like, it's all stuff that you don't have to do. But this shit didn't used to exist. Imagine in 19, like the 1980s, you're sitting there and you're playing fucking, I don't know, Bionic Commando or something. And like, there's just a mode where it's just like, it's just like, uh, the game controls. All you have to do is, all you have to do is, uh, Bionic Commando is not the best example. How about Contra? Let's use Contra as an example. You're playing Contra, and and the character just runs like himself. All you have to do is just like tap tap the A button to fire your gun, and like the character just like runs through the level for you. Basically, that's like the equivalent. It's like why even bother playing? Just turn the game off and go do something else with your life because you're not even fucking playing the game at that point. It's like the white Tanuki suit. Yeah, it's like I, I don't get it. And I, I've certainly made my uh, my opinions uh, well well heard on on all those subjects and i and I, by the way i have not changed my opinion whatsoever <laughs> on any of that St the stream you deserve says the drive assist is actual cheating kids or no yeah i mean if it's going to help you fucking drive then like that's not the point of it is to drive a cart. It's Mario Kart. That That's what you're doing. You buy the game because you're like, oh, I want to drive a cart. Not, I want to buy a game that drives the fucking thing for me. Turn that shit off. I want to drive the fucking cart. Right? Right. <laughs> Gamma Ray says right. <laughs> Self-driving vehicles are the future, though. Oh well, it, it, we're now, I'm not talking. I'm talking about in video games. I'm not talking about fucking real life. Female villager says, "I miss the time when you had to use the power to learn how to play the game." <laughs> yeah, like the power glove, right? Use the power, get the power. That was their marketing campaign. Everything was the power, this, the power, the power pad, the power glove, uh, whatever. Nintendo power, get the power. Yeah, that's that's an old commercial. Um, Get the power, Nintendo power. Get the clues that you can use. Comes from an old com uh, commercial. I've had that song stuck in my head. Just like all day. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> How about we do Teletubbies card? Actually, there, you know what? There is a Teletubbies card, isn't there? <laughs> Fuck. I think I played it off stream too. I was about to make the joke. I was like, I was like what if there was a Teletubbies cart? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I've streamed that. <laughs> Fuck. It's like a Super Nintendo hack. Damn, I never get that. Fucking uh, fuckers. Damn it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It's right. It's the villager. We got a villager here in our chat, too. There is a Garfield cart on Switch. I know there is. Uh, I'll probably stream that, too. Or do a video or something at some point. Well, we have a link for that uh, truck bickle if there's a mod that can put that in. <sighs> thank you. Uh, hey, thank you very much for the bits. Kevram. Uh, he says, even with Nintendo Power, they only gave you limited hints. Now with internet walkthroughs, there's no real sense of accomplishment. That's just your rant. Well, I mean, it's how much... Um, I mean, it's like, there's the internet, but you don't have to look at the internet. You can just do it all yourself, you know? So does Koopa Trooper feel any shame about throwing the shells of his fallen brethren in order to win a kart race? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, that's a, that's a good question. I, I have not thought of that, Brisby. I think the Teletubbies racing game is it good for Tuesday videos. Uh, I think we already showed it in a James and Mike Monday. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we've already like messed with that. So, but usually, if you're talking about Tuesday, if you're talking about with Tony, we do like PlayStation stuff usually. But And how does it feel against Mario, who, who killed thousands of turtles like him? <laughs> they hate each other. I mean, he looks like he's got that smiley little face there, but really, this is this is serious shit, man. Mario like killed all of his people. They fucking hate each other. Koopa Troopa hates Mario. He fucking hates him more than you can ever imagine. You think Bowser hates Mario? No. I mean, Bowser hates him too, but... The, Go the Goomba, I guarantee... That's why the Goombas and the Koopa Troopas work for Bowser. Because Bowser hates Mario, but Mario just goes around and he jumps on their all their people's heads all fucking day long. So they're like, oh yeah, we'll work for Bowser. Fuck this Mario guy. He fucking, he, you know, he's fucking killed everybody I know. All my fucking friends. They're all fucking dead. Your families are dead, your friends are dead. Game over. Your pets are being skinned alive. 
the whole world hates you. Live with it. Yeah. <laughs> second right there. Mario is really the monster. He is. He's a piece of shit. This is why I play as the Koopa. I don't play as Mario. If I'm playing Smash Brothers, I don't play. Well, Smash Brothers, I use like Pikachu or something usually, but... <laughs> Like what, apathetic one? You feel like Koopa Troopers hate Bowser even more for making them so weak, especially green tro Koopa Troopers who just walk off a cliff to their deaths. <laughs> they don't care, they don't give a shit. Their whole life is just like walk, taking three steps and then like falling off a fucking cliff. Yeah, I have no interest in that truck pickle. Oh, I guess that was the last one, huh? Cool. Bum, bum. All right, got another one down. If this thing is this thing any good? Uh, what was I using? I don't, nasty, I don't fucking remember. Was it? It was this thing, wasn't it? Look at the handling on that, and then that handling is a little better. What is this? Acceleration. Traction's there. Well, I mean, the other one has more traction. What's the weight on this? More weight. Um. I love the speed. I mean, I you know I can try that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it, and if I hate it, I'll turn it off. It doesn't seem terrible. Uh, all right, so we did that one. Um, this one. Uh, uh, I guess I get it. I didn't do that one. I thought I did that one. Oh, did I? All right. I took the silver on it. All right, we gotta do that again. What is my take on Wario? Is he a bad guy like Mario? Um, <clears throat> that's a, that's a, g given, given the scenario that we're talking about where Mario is evil because he kills all the Koopas, is, what is Wario's role in the entire thing? Um, I feel like Wario is sort of an outside, sort of an outsider, a little bit. Um, now, obviously, like, uh, see, War Mario and Wario don't really get get along well. But I don't know. Does Wario doesn't really like work for Bowser either? As far as I, you know, he's kind of his own guy. So I feel like I feel like he's just he's he's his own thing. I don't I don't think he's sort of part of the whole uh that that whole thing 
Actually, that's a good question. Well, let, let's let's back up on that because maybe maybe you guys can fill me in. So, is there anything where Wario is like working for Bowser ever? Because I always feel like Wario is kind of always doing doing his own thing. I'm gonna get fucking hit by this. Um. Yeah, so let me know if there's any games where Wario is working for Bowser. Because if Wario ever worked for Bowser, then I would just say he's pretty much on the same side as as Bowser and the and the Koopas, and that he he hates Mario probably. Um, I mean, most likely it seems. Like, I think m no matter what, uh, he probably fucking hates Mario, but maybe for different reasons than the Koopa would. Wario's like Batman. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's like Batman. Actually, he's he's got his own he's got his own agenda. Thank you, Photon Earth, for the sub. Wario's a jerk to everyone. Yeah. Do I believe Waluigi deserves to be in Smash? Better yet, a mainline Mario. I haven't even really played much of the new Smash. So I I assumed he was in it. Is he not in the new one? I didn't even know he wasn't in it. How is he not in it? They have like all the fucking Mario characters in, in there. That's weird if he's not in there. W Wario is more like a freelancer. Y yeah, Super Jeff. <laughs> I, I think probably so. He's, oh, he's not in Smash? Okay. Wario just cares about getting money and doesn't really care about what happens and the consequences. Yeah. Oh, so it's like me. <laughs> so I relate very well to, to Wario. <laughs> Dr. Leah Brahms. Oh, uh, well, uh, somebody has to because we know Jordy's not doing anything. Skywalker Ranch. Okay, uh, Aproman says he's working in his new office. He has everything going through three switchers. And one switcher, and from there into a capture card, and finally to your TV. Old school consoles go through OSSC. Yeah, I've heard, uh, I think Erin used to try the, she's talked about it before, the OSSC, and she had problems with the, I, we use the frame, I use the frame meister. But, um, so I don't, I don't have experience with the OSSC, but if it works for you, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sav Shazbot, for subbing with Twitch Prime. It was a few years ago. Alright, um, let's do the next level. What's good about this game is in between races I can actually ca catch up with my chat. Sometimes that's hard to do. If I'm playing like a really intense like shooter or, or certain games, it can be hard to pause it because you get really into the game and then if you like take a step away from the game for too long and then you jump back into it it's hard to get back to like exactly where you were where this is like gives me a little bit of a break actually like mario like if i was playing like regular super mario brothers or super mario brothers 3 or something like that um they you know they all the levels kind of have breaks to them so it, you know you hit you hit the flagpole they're actually really good games for, for streaming because then i get to actually talk to you guys And Neo was actually pretty good for that too. There's a lot of like areas where I could like stop where I wasn't like being attacked by something. And there wasn't like a time limit or anything. There's no like time, so you can just like stand there if you if you need to or want to. 
go. I actually got that. Fucking shit. So much for that. My turning is awful right now. Wow. Oh, give me. Oh, I was gonna take all your coins, but they did it first. Fuck you! What did he have? A mushroom? Fuck Donkey Kong. Piece of shit. <laughs> you're not you're not detecting any leaks yet. Great. <laughs> so, so, you know it's my favorite. I'm not detecting any leaks. Jesus fucking Christ. And then the other part I don't like is the, uh, it's like we're on some kind of Star Trek. They even put that in the trailer, I'm pretty sure. Fucking, I think they may put that line in there for the trailer. Somebody thought that was a good idea. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Kang. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck Donkey Kong. Catzilla hates Donkey Kong. about to fucking use that fucking lightning bolt. That sucks, too. Da, 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 da. Mm-mm. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. We're out of here. 42. So I only got I only have to worry about Danky Kang. Look at that was like a Jeopardy thing, right? Some shit. Oh, not yet, uh, no run. You know what you'll be able to do, no run, when I put the Golden Eye video out on YouTube. Uh, leave it, leave it there. Uh, it should be out like t today or tomorrow or something. So le le leave that there, and I'll, I'll look at it.
Thanks, Nikki. Double KO. It's nice when you get two red shells. Speed boost if you hit accelerate exactly when the beep beeps finish at the starting line. Like the 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 like on the third one. It's different than I remember. I haven't played it in a while, so I feel like forget how it even works. The races are so fucking fast on 200 cc. <clears throat> they they they're fast, yeah. You hit it right after two. See, I hit it after two as well. I think it's mostly been, I mean, sometimes my timing's off, but I've been hitting it after the second uh, beep goes off. So, but somebody else is saying hit it when you, well, on the third beep? That's the, I don't know. You do too also? Okay, yeah. I mean, I'll probably just keep doing that. That's what I've been doing. Oh, you didn't know for sure? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's like three, two, hit, one, eh, like that kind of, I think. Toad's Turnpike. Toad's Turnpike. Toad's Turnpike. Final race. Like when you don't have the item, you can just honk your horn. It's the little things in life, guys. He's just honking, honking his horn. There you go. That's a boost. Da 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 da. Lightning bolt, great. Thanks a lot, lightning bolt. The worst, the worst. I'm gonna do this anyway. Ah, oh, I was gonna try to. Don't be doing that with slime all over your oil all over your thing. Ah. <laughs> See you later, donkey asshole. Again? Alright. So that should be whatever whatever the hell cup that was. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser Oil Undead Motors Thank you JV141 for subbing with Twitch Prime Thank you for the support You have my support Shell Cup is it You collect 207 coins New vehicle customization option has been unlocked Alright So do they give you all the best shit as far as unlocking stuff? Uh, like, by beating 200 CC? Do you get like the most co coins for doing that? Cause it's like, what if I, I'm not exactly sure how it works. Cause what if I went to Grand Prix and like did 
like 150 or 100 is it would it be better for me to like complete everything in each um in each in each thing you know what i'm trying to say since i'm only getting uh Oh, wait, did I do that, like, shell cup or whatever twice? I don't want, like, why do I have two stars for the shell there? And then, is that how many times I've done it? It's, to it's totally random. You've got thousands of coins and still unlocking. Hey, thank you for the raid, Rocky Mountain Pro. Appreciate that. You're watching Tango and Cash, and they had a vehicle that looked like a cross between the Batmobile and the Gadgetmobile. <laughs> Three stars you mean means you got first on all four races. Oh, okay. So I want to like star all that shit. I say that's cool. And then I should probably. I mean. Really what I want to do is go through the entire thing and have everything be a fucking star, right? <laughs> Essentially. <coughs> I'm gonna do like mirror cup too, I'm gonna have to do that and Alright, what did we get? It's a Koopa dildo. Taurus says that they would fit perfectly in his elongated rectangle butthole. If you're just joining, I'm playing Mario Kart 8 for the Switch. Isn't it cute? Woohoo! Isn't it fucking cute? I'm curious why it was such an overwhelming vote for for Egg Cup. You guys just like Egg Cup, huh? They're like, yeah, man, fucking Egg Cup all day. They're like, we don't want any of that Leaf Cup shit. It's all that Egg Cup. No, oh my god. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Mmm, blooper. Hate you and your ink. No, oh my god. Oh! Once again, can't see shit. Oh god, oh god, I'm all over the place. This is not good. Oh my god. No! No! Oh my god. All right. Let's let's do better than this. This is bad this is bad news. Let's try that one again. Bad news bears. Eggs mark the spot. Fifth place, more like fucked place. <laughs> you like this one in Mario Kart Wii the best? Taurus? 
Are you the one with the elongated butthole? He says, yes, that's me. Rectangular butthole, right? You have a elongated rectangular butthole that you stick Atari cartridges into. That's good. That's cool, you know. Could probably be like a YouTube channel or something. The elongated butthole gamer. The elongated asshole <laughs> Atari nerd <laughs> Fuck. come on he's the elongated butthole Atari Amiga CDI Sega Amiga CD32 ColecoVision Atari and Television and NES Commodore 64, Sega Saturn nerd guy, person. Fuck this fucking level. This is why you guys wanted me to do this fucking level. <sighs> what? Yes, she she elongated butthole we're talking about. Did you just get here? You're missing our conversation. So there so since you're just coming in, there's a guy in our chat who has an elongated rectangular butthole and he has these cartridges here. Same ones I have. And just like in 1956 when they would detonate a dam, he would stick the Atari cartridge into his asshole and that's what he does. So that's and he also apparently Booger Nose says he has rectangular turds. Yes. And he has to strap a solo cup to his ass every day. His butthole plays the Atari cartridges. Well you can I don't know if they actually play them. You'll have to ask him about that. Always the most mature, sophisticated conversation. And that's what he does. Yeah. That's right. All right, next level. That would have been an interesting place to dump the ET cartridges. Oh my god, don't start me on the fucking e on the fucking ET cartridge thing again. I I've been I've, I've discussed that so many times. This is a good one. Good old Excite Bike. They they have um like on Switch Online like the versus Excite Bike. Like 
Do do piles of shit on the ground over there. <laughs> no, they can't be just m mud puddles. That's not good enough for me. Maybe for you it's good enough. For me, it's not good enough. It's not good enough for me. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. Some bad jumps here. Oh, you fuck. Don't do that. Don't you. At the last fucking second? Fuck you! Alright, second. I'll take second. I guess. Fuckers. Who, is he ahead? No, they're tied. Fine. Fucker. Piece of shit. Thank you, Sacto Mert, for the sub with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Thank you. Have I played Excitebike 64 on stream lately? No, I haven't. I don't know if I've ever streamed it. Or if I did, it was a long time ago. I know, uh, Gamulka. I've been doing that here and there. As of right now, I have no recollection of this fucking level. That's fine, go ahead and kill me. I do not, I do not even remember this level. Like riding on a dragon. It's a bad dragon. Shit. It's not going well. As long as I took them out with me, that's all it that really matters to me. Oh boy. Talking in here one time about like a Marilyn Manson like coffin dildo or something. Does anybody remember that? Didn't, like Marilyn Manson have like, some like a dildo or something. Or or some other celebrity like that. <laughs> actually, actually, I'm sorry. It wasn't Marilyn Manson. It was actually. Um, might have been LeVar Burton. Sorry, same, same thing though, basically. Was there an AVGN video for Fantasy Star? No. No, there was not. Eight bit hyper, this is uh, two hundred CC. All right, F zero. This looks awesome, doesn't it? Now, this is what a fucking video game should look like. Look at how fucking awesome that looks.
They did a they did a nice job on the stage. Making it look nice, at least. Can't they just make an F Zero game that like looks like this? For Switch, like a new one. God forbid. Damn it. Fuck! That's not good. Freaking out at the end. God damn it. Oh, that was a shit show. <laughs> Guess we gotta do it again. Fuck me. They really, really need to do that. F Zero is straight up epic sauce. Yeah. It is. Damn, only silver. Well, let's let's see what we got here. We got, we got, we got. Ooh, that looks fancy. Good handling, weight, acceleration. Mm -hmm. Acceleration is not that much. I mean, it's better than the high roll fucking thing. I mean, some of these other things are better. I didn't. I did. I end up not liking the Koopa Clown. I keep. I keep going back to uh, this guy. For whatever reason, I like this card. Um, but I tell you what. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna switch it up real quick, and I'm gonna play a round of. Uh, I'm gonna play around to this uh, timber timber versus switch it up for a few minutes and uh, then we'll get back to Mario Kart and I'll do the egg thing again. So this is Timberman. I was showing people this earlier. I like to do a few rounds of this and then we'll get back to Mario Kart. The bike looks sick. It looks awesome, but the stats I don't know about the stats. I could try it, I guess. Oh wait, I, don't, I didn't mean to go to online. Get me out of this. Fuck. Local. All right. Uh, so these are the different characters. Uh, well, there's a bunch of different characters. I'll be Edward Scissorhands. Fuck. Oh well, that's a nice start. Good job, Mike. Good, good start. <laughs> My best is 253. All right, so essentially what you're doing here is you are, um, oh, we got Jason Voorhees coming up next. I didn't know that. Um, you're trying to chop this shit down and it's just left and right on the D-pad. And you're trying to, uh, Get as far as you can, basically. 
very simple game, but very fun. Some people are saying that it might be, it might have been like a mobile thing. I don't know if it was. Fuck, 211? What did I have, 250 or something? 253. Maybe I can Unlock Jason Voorhees. Fuck! 253, I gotta beat. See, I think uh, if, you tr if you do the online thing, you can't be like unlocking characters. smells. Mm -hmm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I gotta do this. So they give you a little bit more experience each time. Looks like a Mega Man. Somebody was a Mega Man fan. Fuck! Hit it one too many times. Ugh, I want to beat that. Aladdin? Yeah, fuck, 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 fuck. Four. Great. Good job. This would be a good stage for Jason Warriors. I want to do this so bad. I have to do this. Maybe the problem is Adam Edwards' scissor hands. That's probably the problem. It's probably the character, even though the uh, the only thing you're doing is hitting left and right on the D-pad. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it was it's Edwards' shitty scissor hands. That's why. I need a character with an axe. Is the, is definitely the problem. gets down I think it's gonna end okay so so the other thing is the I did it but the red line on the top once that runs out then then you're you're done so it's like you gotta like keep the speed up so at least I did it I'll do a little more until I, I just want to try to get uh, I want to try to get Jason Voorhees and then we'll, we'll go back to Mario Kart Pfft, crap hey and speaking of Mario there's your Mario level actually let me uh, change characters real quick Let's change it out to, uh, I don't know, anybody else. We'll do the snowman. Somebody else. Edward Jizzerhands, there you go. That's right. Hey, well, see, I should be glad that I changed it to the snowman, because this is his level, I guess. I think there's, there's a Christmas themed one, too. But that's more like the elf, because it's like candy canes and shit. So this is definitely snowman stage here.
You know what I just got in the mood for? I just got in the mood to play like Mega Man very randomly. I said Snowman and I was like, ooh, isn't there like Blizzard Man and... I guess there's no actual... Well, there's, uh... Uh... Is it Iceman in Mega Man 1? There's no, like, actual Snowman. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I want to play... I've been thinking of playing, like, Mega Man 3 or Mega Man 4 or something again. I haven't, I haven't done them in several years. I've been kind of itching to play Mega Man 3 a little bit lately. So, maybe I'll do a Mega Man 3 stream. We'll see. Fucking God damn it! Keep fucking it up. All right, we're almost to Jason Voorhees. I just want to try him, and then we'll go back. Da, 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 da. This is the Christmas one. Saying bells tonight. Oh, jingle fuck, jingle shit. Fuck you, fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it. Oh, did we just get him? No, not yet. One more, probably. It almost looks a little like that gra the graphics of that game. Uh, you guys remember that Lakeview Cabin game? Cabin Lakeview or whatever it was. It was like a horror kind of game on Steam, I think. Kind of looks like that a little bit with the colors. I mean, um, I mean, I don't play modern games. <laughs> What do I know about Steam? Fuck. All right, let's see. Let's see if I got the. Um... Yeah, all right, we got him. Hey, there's Jason Voorhees. All right, let's let's try him out. And then who the hell is that next? Is that some kind of Santa Claus kind of looking fucking motherfucker? Oh fuck! Wait, no, no, no. I gotta get out of here because I wanna. Here, wait. I wanna try out Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, time. Steam more like a steaming pile of crap. <laughs> I mean, I, I like Steam. I, I have a lot of Steam games. I, I use it all the time. Yeah, go Jason Voorhees. I wonder what other characters are in here. I'm like dying to know. I have to play this more because I'm gonna have to unlock all the fucking characters I want to know, like all everybody that's in here. Fucking hell. Alright, well, we saw Jason Voorhees, and then I don't know who the hell that guy is. Anyway, so that's that's that game. I'll, I'll stop for now. That's a, a good game to play in short short bursts, you know? Really, really fun. Alright, back to Mario Kart 8. So I died on, was it Egg Cup? We're gonna, I didn't die, I guess I made it silver. So I gotta get gold on Egg Cup. Gold on Egg Cup. This game gets super fun when you get really good at it. Also, great multiplayer. I wish I would have watched your controller review before I bought an Advantage. The only thing it has going for it is Turbo. My controller review? And then you bought an NES Advantage? I'm trying to think of what you're talking about, one and only. Um, controller review I, I did a video once like a very random thing just talking about controllers with James uh, that was literally like we just pulled out some controllers and we were just kind of shooting the shit it wasn't really a review um, uh, you know there's like different there's there's reviews there's let's plays there's live streams there's edited content and I, I feel like people blur the line between um, like um, let's plays, let's plays and live streams sometimes. So a let's play um, would be like James and Mike Monday, where it's like you have you know James and I or whoever, um, and we film the video, and then you take that, and then it goes into editing, and it's very cut down and edited, and you know maybe graphics thrown in and things like that. 
uh, you know, because we might record, let's say, a game for an hour or something like that, and then it's cut down to like a 10 minute video. That's a let's play. Then live stream is just with this. It's just unedited, whatever. And it's it's funny. Sometimes I see comments of people they confuse the the, the two things. It's two different things. Anyway, though. Okay, so we're doing um, uh, egg cup because I didn't. I fucked up on egg cup. Splatterhouse guy is scuffed, Jason. And there are also rants, the angry fast version of a review. <laughs> I guess I guess so. And then there's uh, what do they call them? vlogs, where it's just like a, you're just talking, I guess, talking about whatever, talking about games. Oh, look at Blue Yoshi, living his life. Now, now I'm trying to think of. Um, so Yoshi's friends with Mario, so Yoshi's and Koopa's must not get along either. Well, they definitely don't, because Yoshi's can sometimes like kill Koopa's as well, so that's another rivalry. You got, you know, Yoshi's don't like Koopa's. Uh, Wario, Wario's in his own world. That's not a pun, I'm so sorry if you think it is. I know there's Wario World, I did a fucking review on it. I'm saying he's like, he's his own thing. In this, in this world that we're creating here. Oh shit. Uh, Waluigi, I feel like Waluigi is about the same thing as Wario. He's kind of just doing in his own sort of realm there. Luigi essentially is the same deal as Mario. I mean, Mario's more the leader, I guess, so I think they probably hate Mario the most. They, they probably want to take out, you know, take out the leader. But, uh... I'd like to see I'd like to see a really fucking violent that's what I want to see the Mario series do. I want to see a really fucking violent Mario game. The Nintendo would never do it. But one where the Koopas um maybe you play as Koopa Troopa or a Goomba and your goal is to kill Mario. Like literally kill him. And it's like not funny either. It's like it's more like a Dead Space kind of game. And the Koopas have like like Bowser gives the Ko the Koopas and the Goombas like uh, like I don't know. Player one could be a Koopa Trooper and player two could be like a Goomba, right, or something. And then you're going around and trying to essentially uh, kill anything from the Mushroom Kingdom. You're trying you're killing all the Yoshi's and you're killing you're killing the baby Yoshi's. <laughs> and you're fucking you you know what you do Here, no here's the plot you travel b back in time it, like turtles in time and you go back to when it's baby mario in yoshi's uh uh yoshi's island and you try to kill mario when he's still a baby and then maybe yoshi is trying to protect baby mario so you have to kill you have to kill Yoshi from trying to protect baby Mario. Or something like that. This is my plot for a Mario game. Is it would be very, very dark. And at the end of the game, um at the well the end of the game would be you would kill you would kill Mario. Once you kill Mario, that would be that would be the end. And then and you know what? Maybe there'd be some levels after that where the Koopas and the um or no, okay, here's what it would be. It, after you kill Mario, there would be a cutscene at the very end, and there would just be only one cutscene in the game after you kill Mario, and it would be, um, you know how in Link to the Past, how the world changes from dark to light and everything becomes great again? It'd be it'd be like the fucking opposite of that. It would be every the whole Mushroom Kingdom would be expelled from all the toads and the princess, and they they'd all be fucking gone. Like prin princess would be put into a guillotine 
<laughs> and put into a fucking no toad would be put into like the town square and put into like a, one of those uh oh, what are those things where you put your hands and your head into it and you're in the town square and they throw like tomatoes at your fucking face what do anybody know what those are called um, there's, there's like a name for that. Uh, anyway, so they put they put t- Toad in like Town Square or Lu- Lu- maybe Luigi. They just have him there and they're they're throwing like tomatoes in his fucking face and they just like leave him there, leave him there to rot and die. And then they just don't they le- they like lock him up in that and they never let him go. And they just throw like fucking they throw like fruit and tomatoes at his fucking face and, until like he only like starves to death and they never let him out. And the last. The last thing you see is just Luigi, like, starved to death, like, on a fucking, like, trapped. <laughs> that, and that, that, that's what I would do with a Mario game. Do you, think, do you think Nintendo would be down with my idea? They peel off his mushroom skin. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Toad would go down into the torture chamber. So, Mario, they just kill. Mario, like, boom, dead, like, just immediately fucking kill them um, as soon as they get the chance uh, Luigi in the town square just make fun of him throw shit at him Toad would be down in the torture chamber <laughs> and they, they rip his they rip his mushroom off the top of his head that's a hell of a cutscene yeah that would be that would be so, something like that I'd have to put more thought into it I probably put already put a little too much thought into this but that's essentially that would be my that would be my Mario game um, and then there's that Surgeon game. Have you guys heard of that Surgeon game? It's like Surgeon... I don't know. Like It's like uh, it's on PC. And uh, I should stream that. And uh, if anybody knows the name of it, where you're, you're like literally like doing like surgery shit, uh, there could be like a whole game like that where you're doing surgery on Mario characters and like pulling their fucking intestines out and shit. Surgeon Sim... Is it just Surgeon Simulator? Maybe? That, that's that's what I would do. Along those same lines, we did a video uh, that came out today. If you didn't see it, uh, it's about Animal Crossing. So I have never played Animal Crossing anything. I know nothing about Animal Crossing. In fact, probably the most I ever knew from Animal Crossing was the Animal Crossing level in this game, um, strangely enough. Um, so... Not, I don't know any, anything. But I just never played it. You know, not, I just never tried it. Never whatever. I don't know anything. So, um, Justin was like, um, "There's a new Animal Crossing game coming out." And I did this thing in Animal Crossing. I want to show it to you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we we got together, and then basically he spent a long time making a Arby's restaurant. Um, in Animal Crossing, and I didn't even know that you could, because I don't even know anything about Animal Crossing, uh, I didn't know you could, like, make things like that, so he was able to, like, use, um, I guess, like, QR codes or something to, like, pull in images into Animal Crossing, uh, to be able to, like, create things, um, so that's what he did, so he created an Arby's. And actually, you know what's really funny? Arby's actually saw it, and they responded, and they were like, cool video, or whatever. whatever. Um, so, it was, it was pretty cool. So, I don't know, check that out. He, he, made, he spent a long time making an Arby's and designing graphics and stuff like that, so he wanted to show that to me. It was pretty funny. But anyway, the point of this is, uh, so, if you watch the video, not to ruin the video, but you go down into the... Uh, dungeon of the Arby's and it's like a it's like a torture chamber or something down there this is pretty funny so that's the kind of that's the kind of thing I would do for a Mario game I would have Toad down there in a torture chamber or surgeon simulator like pulling his eyeballs out pulling his pie eye eyeballs out of his fucking head and be like Toad or whatever I can't do a Toad impression I can do Mario a little bit it's a me Toad I can't do Sorry. I'm kind of happy I can't do Toad. I think Aaron can do a Toad. Yeah, fuck Toad, lol. Yeah, I, 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 I hate Toad. I've always hated Toad. I've hated Toad since I was a kid in Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, I've always hated Toad, and I still hate Toad. I will never get over it. Ever. I will always hate him. 
You can do a toad impression, Robo Jack. Toad is a chode. I, bar I barely been paying attention to what's going on in the game here. How, how am I doing? Have I been winning or losing? I don't even know. What, I don't even know what's happening. Did I take first last time? <laughs> Shit. I've been too, I've been too deep into my thoughts about the ripping Toad's fucking face off to think about this race. I have a feeling I'm doing very badly. behind me is going to help me from one of those giant bullets. Oh yeah, this thing. I was like this. If I can get near somebody. Oh my god. There you go. Hey! Oops, shit. Well, hey, at least I took that out. Damn it. Mm -mm. Good. Oh my god. Toad! Fuck! Great. Everybody's just going crazy here. Two? Alright, let's see where my ranking's at here. Oh, alright, I'm in first right now. Okay, cool. Cool. In the, the original series episode, Charlie asks, why couldn't the Daisians simply remove Charlie's powers? Says the transcriptionist. Um, okay, so in Charlie X... Charlie's on the ship, and he has all sorts of sort of magical powers, and he's causing the crew trouble, and he gets his powers from those aliens, and at the end of the episode, they they take him back, and they I think they bring him back to their kind. So, your question is, why couldn't they just remove his powers? Um... And what, and let him stay? Let him stay on the ship? Um, maybe because he didn't deserve it? Because he was a piece of shit? Maybe they didn't want to? And he's slapping Janice Rand on that fucking ass. Like, he, he needs, like, he doesn't deserve, sh like, anything. He deserves to be uh, sent back to the fucking alien realm or wherever the fuck they sent him. So they send him to the place, same place they send Zod or whatever, fucking Superman 2. <laughs> the, the fucking, uh, what's that called? The, that zone or whatever. I can't remember off the top of my head. Phantom Zone? Is it called the Phantom Zone? I'm not like a su giant superhero person, so I don't know. I think it's called Phantom Zone. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Is Yar's Revenge or be like the co the Cotile Zone in, in Yar's Revenge? <laughs> That's what I need to send them. Send them to the fucking bad area from the fucking Yar's Revenge. Then you're really fucked. Yar's Revenge is new from Atari. Have you played Atari today? Have you played Atari today? Fuck. Oh come on, that was like horse shit.
Mmm. That's the last one, right? Oh, the oh. I thought there was one more. Shit. All right. Well, ah. Uh, oh my God, I made it. Thank God. Just barely. Yo, Mike, Mario Kart 8, not Super Nintendo. Um, I well, Mar the Super Nintendo one's my favorite one, but I like this game too. This is two. Uh, the stream you deserve. It's 200. Captain, so Captain Kirk was thinking, get this son of a bitch off my bridge. Yeah, absolutely. Man, Captain Kirk's the man. You don't fuck with Captain Kirk. He has like, he'll have like a god come on his ship and he's like, you need to get off my ship. I really need you off of my bridge. And then the god is like, there's nothing I can do. Ah! And then they're fucking gone. Picard, Picard is like, whatever. Let's not go on a Star Trek topic. Thank you, Nikki Fogg. Sweet Potato Moose says that he has played Atari today. Good stuff. What did you play? Did you really play Atari today, Sweet Potato Moose? What game? Cisco punched Q in the nose. And not before uh, Captain Kirk slapped Trulane across the face. Play as Toad, please. I'd really rather not. Oh, you played Space Invaders? That's cool. I love the 2600 Space Invaders. Unless you were playing a different version, like on a fucking Atari 8-bit computer or whatever. All right, so where are we at here? Uh, we did... Oh, I didn't unlock anything that time. So, all right. So we uh, we have gold, gold, gold. No, I don't have that one yet. Gold, gold. We got everything other than uh, special cup. Uh, then we got, we got gold in that. Okay, we need banana, leaf, lightning. There's a lot left to do. Okay, I got the triforce, and then we got that. Oh my god. Play as your favorite character always, says Duo. That is his motto. My my favorite is... You know what? Let me... Actually, I'm sorry. Let me just go through and just look at the characters. Because I never really... Ever since the Super Nintendo game, I just play as Koopa Troopa. It's just who I, I like because it's... You know, I'm, the, I'm a Super Nintendo guy. Um, but, uh, so, whatever. Mario, oh, fuck him. Luigi. Uh, I guess... You know what I just realized? I guess I like Luigi better than Mario. I just realized that. You know what? I I think I like how Mario looks when he's like Super Mario though, with the when he has like the firepower more so. But I, I yeah, I guess I like Luigi more than I like Mario. Peach Peach is alright. Daisy fuck Daisy. Rosalina, eh. Tanuki Mario. Tanuki Mario is cool. Like the, I like. He, Here's the thing, I, you know, I would like shit on the t the, t the white Tanuki sh suit and all that. I like the Tanuki suit. Like, I like like in, if you're playing Super Mario Brothers three and you get the Tanuki suit, Tanuki suit's fucking cool. I just don't like the bullshit white Tanuki cheating suit. Cat Peach. Um, actually, I really like Mario three D uh, World a lot. Um, actually, Yoshi. What a fuck Toad. Yoshi is alright. Koopa Troopa, I love, he's my guy. Shy Guy is alright, I guess. Lakitu? Fuck Lak. Lakitu looks like, uh, like Beaker or Bunsen or one of those motherfuckers, or Skeeter or Scooter. Which is the motherfucker? Is it B Beaker, Bunsen or whatever? A Muppet Babies? Let me see. I want to know which the one he looks like. I think that's who I'm thinking of. With the glasses? Yeah. With the fucking glasses? Bunsen. He's fucking Bunsen from Muppet Babies. Um, Toadette. Uh, I'm not big on Toadette. Um, I like, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, if I was gonna be, I, whatever. I'd probably be like Cat Peach over to Toadette. Uh, King Boo. Uh, Pink Gold Peach, fuck that. 
If you're gonna be Peach, be regular Peach. What even is this? This is the T1000. This no, the uh, the TX. That's the fucking TX version of like Peach. It's fucking weird. Metal Mario. No. Okay. All this baby shit. I'm fuck all this baby shit. Not, like all of them. All these. See all these fucking babies. The fuck off with this baby shit. Wario. Wario is kind of cool. Waluigi. I like Waluigi a lot. I always have actually. On this menu, I feel like maybe he's second to my Koopa. Uh, Donkey Kong, look at his face. <laughs> he's, look at that face he's making. I, I should have that as an emote. Can I? Can we have that as an emote? That's actually really fucking funny. He's like, eh. Bowser. Um, you know what? W with Bowser, I like the 8-bit look of Bowser a lot better than... Hey, there's something they could do with Mario Kart. How about like an 8 how about like a skin or something to make the whole game like an eight, like Mar make Mario Kart Eight have like an eight bit skin or something that might be interesting. Dry Bones, Dry Bones is cool. Always like Dry Bones. I've always hated Bowser Jr. Let's talk about this. So I love Super Mario Brothers Three. It's one of my favorite you know NES games, and who 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 doesn't love Mario Three you know? But to me, these these are the Koopa Kids right here. Lemmy. Larry, Wendy, Ludwig, Iggy, Roy, and Morton. These fucking guys right here. These are the motherfuckers. I'm glad they put them all in because these these are the guys that I like. And I think I like all these guys. And as a kid, I think it was... I forget which one. Maybe it was Iggy or this guy or whatever. I forget which one was my favorite. But I actually just bought a plush of Roy, which... Uh, I should ask Aaron where that is. I have that around somewhere. I'll show, if I find it, I'll show it to you guys. But they make plushes of these guys now. Um, I, I love all them. They were a great addition to the Mario universe. This fucking guy right here, this Bowser Jr., he can go fuck himself. I hate that fucking character. Um, him? I actually hate him more than I hate Toad. I will take Toad any day over fucking Bowser Jr. Like, I do not like Bowser Jr. Never did. Dry Bowser? He's kind of cool. Um, and then, then there's all this stuff. Um, so these are Splatoon characters. Um, really quick about Splatoon. I, so I actually really like Splatoon. I like the gameplay of Splatoon. I don't like the style of Splatoon. I don't like how it looks. I don't like the colors. I don't like the characters. But I like the gameplay. Like, I think it's a really fucking fun game to play. Cannot stand how it looks. I don't, I don't like these characters. I think they're fucking ugly. Um, but the game itself is, is actually a lot of fun, I think. Link is obviously cool, but, like, I wish they gave you different versions of Link. Like, can we just have, like, the fucking green outfit? And can, does it have to be, like, t uh, like Breath of the Wild, like, Link? Can we have, like, um, I would like to see a Link to the Past looking Link in here. Then I would be excited about Zelda. I don't like that. I don't want that. Uh, so, so basically, fuck Link in this game. Villager. I don't know anything about Animal Crossing, like I said. So that, I don't, like, I have no opinion on that really because I don't know anything about Animal Crossing. So there you go. That's what I think. Oh wait, Link has different costumes. How do you do that? Oh shit. Well, this is oh, okay. See, no. See, wait a second though. No. This is still not what I'm talking about, though. That's better, but this is like, um, that looks like Twilight Princess or something, Link. Definitely better, at least he's in the green, but this is still not fucking Link to the Past, Link. Let's talk about, let me show you what I'm talking about. And I know you guys already know, but I'm going to show you specifically. If I can find an image of what I would want. It's gonna, it's gonna take too long, but you guys know what I mean. I want like the older style, like Link. Basically, like Link to the Past or like back, like back then. They should just get, they should just give you a couple more skins. That would be a really easy fucking thing to do. Just, get, just give them a couple more skins. But either way, all right. So that, that's Link. Oops, I didn't take it back. I'm not, I'm not fucking doing that. 
He looks stupid in that fucking cart anyway. I can't, like, uh, I have a, I'd try, like, one of the Koopa kids or something, though. They're fucking cool. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll do that. I'll try it. It's actually, are they gonna change the handling and shit? Oops, shit. Shit, fuck, 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 what did I do? Um, you know what? I'm not gonna fuck with that, because I want to be able to win these races. I don't think, it's only the carts that change it, isn't it? Roy's our boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We got the Roy uh, emote in there. Roy, yeah, Roy's fucking cool. You know what? Fine. I'll, I'll try Roy. Well, we're going to do Roy. I'll do something different. Let, let's see if that changes everything, though. Wait, this does, this looks like it changes it. So, wait. Hold on. That's going to that's gonna change everything, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that totally changes everything. Because, I guess, the size of the character. Um... Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna have to pick all different like shit. That'll that'll take too long. In the beginning of the stream, I said I spent like 20 minutes trying to fucking figure out what to use that that I liked. So I'm not I'm not doing that. Um, that'll take too long. All right, so we're gonna do uh, the next one. Let's go to Banana Cup. Yeah, they they have they have different weights to them. Yeah, so I'd have to pick different carts and figure out. It's, it's it'll take too long. Maximizing acceleration and handling like you have is a smart idea, so stay with it. I've been trying to, my the problem I've been having is like I've been taking really wide turns. Um, and I even have a cart with like really good handling, so I don't know if there's much more I can do. So I'm hoping that I can unlock a car or a bike or something eventually that is even a little better. Um, that's been my main problem but I mean it's mostly about like how I'm driving I know but it wouldn't hurt you know to have a little bit better like handling if I can if I can get something better eventually so this is uh, Mario Land right which is cool and I, and we were talking about like what they could even do to improve oh fuck uh Mario Kart at this point, and, I, and I'm like, basically, I think this game is practically perfect, but you could add more courses to it. Um, basically, there's a lot of things you could do, add, like add more skins, add more courses. Um, the, the main thing I would like to see them add, really, is, uh, fuck, uh, if, they could, if they could add, like, literally every course from the Super Nintendo game, in, into this game the way they did and they already have some of the courses in here um, if they just did it for every single course that's what I would that's what I would want to say because it's kind of like what else can you do so I so I even to go a step further with that uh, if they did it not just for the Super Nintendo game but like all all of the previous Mario Kart games because there's here's why there's always gonna be a course that somebody remembers fondly from back in the day and just they just should do them all basically um i think that's that's one of the things that's still like missing literally just design every fucking course so that you could play mario kart 8 with you know with all the old courses um so i mean that's that's one thing uh if they were going to make another mario kart game basically let's pretty much the same exact game except with more courses uh and then we were talking about the idea of like putting in more characters like what with what they do with smash brothers but i don't know if i want to see that like i don't know if i want to have like sonic the hedgehog or like fucking uh you know captain falcon or something like that in, in mario I, I like that they keep it mario so i don't i don't know that that's something i even really want to see i don't even really like need link in there i, I kind of like would rather just i honestly let's like me keep it mario Mike wants Mortal. Mike wants a Mario Kart equivalent to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Everyone and everything is here. No, I don't want. I don't want that. That's no. That's the. That's not what I'm saying. I would like more courses from the old games. Um, you know, redesigned it like this. Like this. This fucking right here. This is awesome. I want them to do all the old levels like this. 
perfect time for this course to come up. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Imagine the, imagine the entire um, Super Nintendo game like remade like this. Now, this is great. This is this is one. Just finish it. Do the rest of them. And like that's what I want because that like that's my favorite Mario Kart. But like I think I think they should do that for all of them, you know? Because every everybody has like their own favorite Mario Kart game. Some people like you know the Game Boy Advance one or the Wii one or whatever. You know, just let it, let us play all of them. Yeah, but as far as characters, not really. I, I'd rather just them just keep it Nintendo, uh, uh, like Mario World characters. Now, I wouldn't mind if they added more characters from Mario games, if there was any like thing that they were like missing that they could add. Um, and another idea I had was to have different uh, graphics for it. Like, if you could... Um, like, let's say, like, uh, Koopa Troopa, like, in his cart right now, like, what if he could be, like, an 8-bit or 16-bit looking Koopa Troopa, like, in, in the cart? Or, like, if he picked Bowser or something, it would be, like, the 8-bit the eight look of Bowser or the 16-bit look of Bowser, and they put, they put, like, that in the cart. Like, that could be an interesting, like, skin sort of thing. It wouldn't change the handling or anything like that. It's just, I'm just talking about skins right now. Um... Maybe something like that, but but keep it Mario. As long as they keep it Mario, like that's what I would like. Um, they should add Wart. That's see, there's a good idea. Adding Wart would be great. Exactly, that's perfect. Like I would rather see Wart in this than Link. Would you want something like SNES mode? Uh, well, I mean, then it's just like why not just play the. Super new. Well, I mean, well, yeah, if you could play, the, that would be really kind of cool. If you could play the new courses in 16-bit, maybe they could do that. Um, I don't know. Like, more, more screwing around with stuff like that, though, would, would be cool. Like, this is the N64 game. What if you could play... Like this, the Royal Raceway from from N64, but everything looked 8-bit or 16-bit or something. I don't know. Maybe some stuff like that they could do. Um, I'm just like really stretching here because I'm trying to think like what else can they really do beyond this. I mean, the uh, the obvious thing is that they can make more courses. Because like this game looks so good, it's like with graphics you're pretty much. This is pretty much it. Like, I mean, sure, maybe they can make it look a little better, but I can't imagine. I can't imagine it looking much better than this. Like, cause how good can you get? Like, look how good this looks. How good can it look? Like, this is like amazing looking. So I don't I don't think graphics are a thing that's really and that's like they, they they got that down, you know. And and music's good, like they got the music, they got the graphics. It's really just what they can do with the with the gameplay and the levels and um they even, they even, like I said, they even fixed the uh, battle mode. The battle mode in this is really fucking cool. They went back to the old, like, Super Nintendo-style battle mode. Um, I just, you know, I'd like to see them add more uh, battle arenas. You Like, here you go. Here's a big thing they need to do for this. Uh, there's no block fort. You can't play all the Super Nintendo, or you can't play all the N64, unless I didn't see it. Uh, maybe, maybe it's in here. But I don't think you can play Block Fort uh, as a battle arena in, in this, uh, as far as as far as I know. I saw uh, they have they have one of them in here. I think. Um, I know I know they have one of the Super Nintendo ones, which is which is great. Um, it's like the first one from the Super Nintendo battle. Um, 
but they should they should have all that in there. And by the way, correct me if I'm wrong. If Block Fort's in here, let me know. You want a Wave Race remake? That would be cool, D3. If they did it, if they did it well. Wave Race is so good on N64 though. But uh you know what though? Like that could that's definitely something that needs a needs a new needs a new one. That would be actually that's definitely um should do like top ten games that are that really need to fucking come back. Um I'm gonna write some down. Let's let's write some down right now. So so games that really need to come back. Um or like need a remaster or something like that. So for one thing, Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron, I'd like to see come back. Um, I'd like I'd like to see a remastered. This is kind of a, this is kind of a different subject to like remaster games or what needs to make a comeback. This is sort of two different list lists, but I'd like to see a remaster of Goldeneye. That's a game that can definitely use like a, a like an official remaster. Uh, but series that need to come back. Um, um, yeah, F, like obviously F Zero is a big one that needs to come back for sure. Because you know, game, what GameCube was the last one, right? Pretty much, or actually, was there handheld one? But pretty much like the GameCube one is like the last big one. Um, Custer's Revenge, yeah, Custer's Revenge needs to come back. Pilot Wings, uh, yeah, Pilot Wings would be cool if they if they did it right. Uh, Wave Race would, would be would be cool to come back. And then how about how about things outside of Nintendo though? Let's how about jump to like um, you know uh, you know well any anything any game that you know needs to needs to come back. Hercules 64, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Siphon filter. Fans are in the process of remaking Goldeneye. That's not what I'm talking about, though. I'm talking about an official... I'm talking about it being official, like being on a console. That's another subject about fans remaking things. And that that's cool, but I, I'm talking about like having it really done officially. The number one item on their list on the list better be Gradius, a uh, new Gradius. Cause what was the last one? Gradius Five for PS2. I mean that'd be that'd be amazing. I mean, you're not you're not wrong about that. Bubble bobble. Hmm. We need a new Advance War game. Marvel Madness? Well, you know, after, I mean, a new Marvel Madness would definitely be fucking cool. Um, I, I'd definitely be down for that. But I mean, since mo when Monkey Ball came along, it kind of like took over Mar what Marvel Madness was. But if they made a new, like, amazingly good Marvel Madness, that would be. Imagine a Marvel Madness game with graphics like this fucking Mario Kart game. Like, they could be fucking awesome, but. Super Monkey Ball did come back. Well, there was a fuck. They put out the fucking shitty game, the, like one of the worst ones. They put out fucking Banana Blitz. Like that was the dumbest. Like you're gonna you're gonna re-release fucking a Monkey Ball game. You put out Banana Blitz. You want to talk about the biggest blunders of like 2019? How about that and uh, fucking uh, um, that fu that Contra game. That fucking Contra game is a fucking tragedy. There's a game like that called Marble It Up. <clears throat> yeah, but it's not. That's not Marble Man. Double Dragon. Well, see, they d did like Double Dragon Neon, but I know what you mean. If there was like a real fucking Double, Dra <laughs> I like Double Dragon Neon like to an extent, but Double Dragon Neon is not the fucking same like kind of thing as like Double Dragon Two. Like you know, how fucking like cool Double Dragon Two is. If they could make like a Double Dragon game that actually felt like a real fucking Double Dragon game, like, you know, like Double Dragon, you know, you, Double Dragon Two and then Double Dragon 
like the neon double dragon or whatever is like not like they and the double dragon neon game has that skull mageddon and it's like they just make it like into like a joke kind of thing it's not that I, I didn't like hate that game or anything but it's just like they need to take it seriously and make it like a really good like fighting game um like you know but like if they if they made a good one it would be great to see double dragon make like a real comeback and not just like some fucking like oh it's the 80s like joke like thing duck hunt thank you uh psychotic cock for subbing with twitch prime i appreciate that very much psychotic cock <laughs> all right next <laughs> next race <laughs> DK Donkey Kong He's the leader of the group You know him well He's finally back To kick some tail His coconut gun Fires in spurts If he shoots ya It's gonna hurt <laughs> Something like that Or fires and bursts or I don't know I got, I got an idea. How about Nintendo makes... So remember when Nintendo made, like, Mario Brothers, the arcade game, and Donkey Kong? How about Nintendo makes a brand new arcade game? 100% brand new. It's just a new game. Not based on anything previous. Like... If Nintendo really wants to go back to their roots, they, you know, so they did New Super Mario Brothers, right? Okay, well that's like going back to your roots of NES. How about go to back to their real roots? Their real roots is Donkey Kong, the arcade game. Let's see them make a, like some brand new arcade games, arcade game style thing. They could put them on Switch, I don't care, but like how about just like straight up like hardcore classic arcade like style gaming like just new games no donkey kong no mario no, no, no pre-existing franchises just fucking new something fucking brand new make like an arcade game style thing i'd like to see them that do something like that have fucking like miyamoto come in and fucking dish out some ideas you know i don't know or, or any anybody, or, or it could just be a new person that works in Nintendo. Let's see some new, like, I mean, that'd be something interesting. And instead of just them, like, re-releasing, like, uh, or, like, re-putting out, what was it, uh, Skyskipper? I mean, that's cool that they did that, but how about make a new one? You know, and they could sell it for whatever, six bucks on the Switch store or something like that. Brand new arcade-style game from Nintendo. Just new. I'd like to see maybe something like that. And maybe they could like come up with some kind of unique way to, some new unique way to do a old school style like arcade game. And I don't want them to just like copy fucking some game that they've already done like Donkey Kong or something. Just a totally new like game. New gameplay, new idea, everything. I wanna see something like that. Yeah, I've been doing it duo. Look closer. <laughs> yes, I have. Go back in my stream and rewind the fucking stream and watch it. Watch every second. Frame by frame. Look closer. <laughs> Nintendo wants to mostly keep it safe with franchises, though. Um, yeah, it's like fucking Hollywood. It's like they only want to do... Uh, did I do that, by the way? I wasn't even, like, paying attention. I don't even know if I fucking did it. Um, oh, what did I get? Prancer? The fuck is that? What do you think the chances are that I'm gonna use this cart? Fuck. 
fuck is that? Fucking shit. What the fuck card is that? That's right. What do I think of the Disney remakes of Lion King and Aladdin? Like the live action things? Um, I saw the Aladdin one and it sucked. And I didn't see the Lion King one. That's it. That's my thoughts. There's no, there's no need to remake Aladdin. If you want to watch Aladdin, you know what you do? You go and you, you watch Aladdin. You, you open fucking Disney Plus or your fucking DVD or whatever, or download it off of Amazon or whatever, and you, you watch Aladdin. I don't know why. They, it's like literally, and they're like, basically they're like remaking the same exact fucking movie for the most part. Like, what is the fucking point? Like, if you're going to remake it, like, I don't know, fucking make it different. It's like the stupidest fucking thing ever. Like, they don't need to be doing that shit. So yeah, now I'm not I'm not into the like remade like live action Disney things. I don't. If they're gonna make a mov movie, like I want to see them make uh, just Disney like animate just a new fucking movie. I'd like to see a new traditionally animated Disney movie. That'd be cool. But they're not doing that because everything has to be 3D now because. Apparently, apparently people uh, hate 2D animation, I guess. I don't know. Or kids can't look at 3D animation. Or, I mean, kids can't look at 2D animation for some reason, all of a sudden. Even though, like, uh, all those movies were, like, probably their biggest hits they ever did. So, I, I don't know. So. Whatever. Everything sucks. <laughs> Everything fucking sucks. They're never they're never gonna fucking do things right again. It's just all shit. They're gonna make a fucking remake next, uh, fucking what what have they not done? Make do a live action remake of a fucking no, Cinderella or some shit. It's like we don't nobody needs it. Nobody needs that shit. Make a new fucking movie. Get a new idea. You know when they fucking came up with Cinder, they did that shit in fucking the 1950s. We're really gonna fucking remake Cinderella? Get a new idea. How about that? Where's your fucking new ideas? Live action remake of Bambi? Okay, that, I, that I'd like to see, because I want to see the whole fucking forest burn down. <laughs> That's how I feel about Disney at this moment in this conversation. Cinderella wasn't their real their idea to begin with. Well, no, it's a it's an old fairy tale. But I'm saying that like they made the Cinderella movie. If they're gonna remake like a fairy tale, like do one that they haven't done. Here, here's what they're here. Okay, here's what they should do. Um, so in like the 40s, I guess they were going to make Hansel and Gretel. That's one that they've never done. Just do a straight up Disney makes Hansel and Gretel 2D animated. There you go. Make it, put it out, and make it good. That's it. Make it fucking simple. Like, just do the do the fairy tales that they haven't done yet. Like, why are you fucking just remaking? It's like, oh, Aladdin and Lion King and Beauty and the Beast. Those are the only ones that exist. Like, almost everything is just regurgitated. It says Brotato. Yeah. Because Disney wants to be safe. Yeah, well, whatever. It's stupid. Make something new. I get that they want to be safe. I don't care. Make something new. You know what Walt Disney did when he was alive? He... They almost went fucking bankrupt trying to make, uh, like, Disneyland. 
he took out, from what I've heard, a mortgage like on his own house and shit. Like, they, they was bad. You think they would fucking do that now? Like, risk the whole fucking company to get something done? It's the complete opposite of that now. They're, they don't want to do any risk at all. They're doing the complete opposite of what Walt Disney himself would do. He, he would take every fucking dime and spend it to make something new and amazing to, like, to impress people. They have the exact opposite business model. Their business model is, oh, what was successful in, uh, you know, what was successful in the past? Oh, Aladdin did really well. Let's do more Aladdin shit. That's what they do. Let's play it as safe as possible and, and also spend the least amount of, of money possible. That's what they do. Walt, like, fucking made things, like, extravagant. And like wanted the best. He wanted the, he wanted like the newest, like most cutting edge shit, and would hire like the best fucking people, and wanted everything to be like amazing, and would and would like even sacrifice his own like fucking mortgage on his fucking house and shit to be able to fucking get it done. They they they're not doing that shit now. Not at all. At all. It's 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 so different. It's so different. Now, now they're now instead of fucking worrying about that, they're worried about making Spider-Man movies or whatever. It's like, really? And then D Disney owns The Simpsons. It's like Walt Disney's The Simpsons. What world do we fucking live in? Walt Disney's Star Wars. Like what? The fuck? Where do we live? What planet is this? Thank you, bro. Tato four seven tier one. Thank you, uh, that Anani Mouse for the tier one sub. It's re uh, Pope Smear says it's really amazing to watch Star Trek and Star Wars die at the same time. Isn't that interesting? Remember the old topics of Star Trek versus Star Wars who like who, what which is better or whatever who's gonna survive what's gonna win <laughs> who, whoever thought or what what's better Star Trek versus Star Wars whoever thought that the answer was gonna be that they're they they both lose no nobody thought about that they both they both lose ne neither one wins they're both they both lose that that was the that was the ultimate outcome. Star Trek vs. Star Wars. Neither wins. They both fucking lose. There you go. So you finally have your answer on that fucking old old that the oldest subject in the world. Star Trek vs. Star Wars. Neither. Neither wins. Nobody wins. Not even Disney, because now they have, they'll have a fucking dead franchise. Basically. I saw I saw a Revenge... Uh, what the fuck was it called? What's the new movie called? The, I don't even know the name of it. Like, Revenge of Skywalker? Or Return of Skywalker? Or something? I, I, I'm not... Like, I'm trying to think. Is it Revenge of Skywalker? What the fuck is the name of it? Somebody give it to me. What is the name of the fucking movie? I can't even... It's something like that. R Rise, actually. Rise of Skywalker, right? That, that, that'll tell you something. I can't even fucking think of the name of it. Uh, Rise of Skywalker. So I was in the store a few, like, a few weeks ago or something, last month, and I saw a Rise of Skywalker t uh, like shirt, and it literally just said the Rise of Skywalker, and it was just like, whatever, sure. And 
There was like 50 of them sitting there. Nobody was buying that shit. Nobody is walking around in a fucking Rise of Skywalker shirt. You know? I can't count how many times in my life I have seen somebody wearing an Empire Strikes Back shirt. Like, every day. You'll never see a dude wearing a fucking Rise of Skywalker shirt. It, like, unless it's like, ironically. Rise of shit. Use it for toilet paper. Rise of Duke Fart Knocker. Oh yeah, that was the name of it. So Sierra Lang is in my chat and says, I work at Old Navy and we had to put the Rise of Skywalker shirts on clearance literally the month after it released. See, there you go. Remember in the 80s, if any of you guys are old enough, how like everybody had like Empire Strikes Back, like fucking uh, comforters on their beds and like, like everything was fucking Star Wars and like it was like amazing. Remember those days where it was like, it was like, oh, dude, you got Empire Strikes Back, uh, fucking, uh, you know, whatever, anything, any product that they made, it was like awesome. You were like proud to fucking have like something. You're like, oh, dude, you got the Millennium Falcon? Dude, that's fucking awesome. Like the Kenner, like. That, that's long gone. Who got me on this subject? I just realized now I'm over ranting about fucking Star Wars again. Who the fuck did that? I'm gonna blame somebody in my chat for bringing it up. Did I do it? I probably did it myself. If I did it myself, then I'm the asshole. <laughs> or speaking of assholes, was it the guy who has the rectangular shaped asshole with the fucking Atari cartridges? Is it him? Is he the one who did it? I bet you it was. I bet you it was the guy who sticks Atari cartridges up his ass. Stop bringing up Star Wars and getting me angry and getting me all worked up. Don't be doing that. He goes, it was not me. What the fuck? <laughs> well, you, well, the, I'm, well, you see, you know... Here's why I thought it might have been you, because when, when I think of Star Wars now, I think of... Uh, I think of asshole. I think of rectangular shaped assholes now when I think of Star Wars. It's about it's about where I'm at with Star Wars. <laughs> like rectangular rectangular shaped pieces of shit. It's like if you had a VHS tape of Phantom Menace, which is essentially a rectangular piece of shit. VHS tape of fucking it's about, that's about worth as much as shit right now. At least shit you can use to fertilize your lawn. If you have a VHS copy of Phantom Menace in the year 2020, you'd be better off having a bucket of shit. Like, what are you gonna do with a VHS tape of Phantom Menace or Attack? What are you gonna do with a VHS tape of Attack of the Clones in the year 2020? Nothing. You're gonna use it to fucking weigh, weigh down some paper that might blow in the wind. That's it. That's it all. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. We'll come back and then we'll play some more of this game. I'll be right back. Nope. Um, all right, just keep it going. All right, so we got this, this. Leaf cup is done, so we need to do lightning cup. All right, I'm just gonna go in order now. We're gonna do lightning cup. Bump, bum, 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 bum. Looks like a kid's coloring book artwork. <laughs> yeah. To each their own. All 
All right, this is Lightning Cup. Here. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god. Second. Ugh. Oh, whatever. That's good enough. Thank you, Fart Devil, for subbing. Very much. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free with Twitch Prime. Thank you to fart underscore devil. Play Ghoul School on NES. Fuck that game. I played that game. That game fucking sucks. But that that's why you want me to stream it, because it sucks. <laughs> yeah. The jumps hitting the little, uh, I guess, speed, speed boost, speed bumps, whatever you call them. Oh, fuck! Great. This is not going good. Uh-oh. That's probably gonna hit me. Fuck. See anything? Uh, 
Oh my god. Done. Just done. Third? Fuck. Should probably start over. Oh my god. Probably fucked. I don't, I don't think I can pull this. Pull this out. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll try. I'm probably gonna lose this now. Unless I can get Yoshi behind me somehow. If Yoshi beats me this time, I'm fucked. I'm not gonna do it this time. This one too. This is a cool level. Mount Doom. Oh, shit. No, fuck. Oh my god, and Yoshi beat me? Yeah, fuck. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do this over. Four twenty CC. Yeah, it's two hundred CC. It's two hundred uh, faucet. I meant to hit quit. I'm gonna practice this really quickly because I let me just see this really quick just so I know when I get here. I'll, I'll do one lap around it just so I can remember it. I think this is the one I don't have a problem with. It's a, it's the other one that's like really hard. The other like the modern Rainbow Road. I think. Let's see. This looks so cool. Alright. It's fine. Alright, let's try that again. That was a disaster. The graphics on this are just beautiful. They're amazing. Animal Crossing thing, so how is that uh, compared to comparatively? It's like, oh, the weight is a little less, huh? And the, it's like about the fucking same. I'll try it, whatever. We can have an Animal Crossing thing, that's fine. Sure, let's go Animal Crossing. Go 
going from the original Mario Brothers graphics to this, does it blow your mind, Mike? You know, it really does because I haven't seen any games ever other than NES games. So playing Switch right now uh, is the first time I've ever played anything beyond um, NES. So it's pretty it's pretty amazing to see something else finally. Um, I, I totally didn't review Mario Kart 8 when it came out on the Nintendo uh, Wii U. That that did not happen. So seeing this is, is amazing right now in 2020 because I have never seen it before. So yeah, it's, it super blows my mind to be able to see these graphics. Mm-hmm. I don't even I don't even know what anything is if it's not an 8-bit system so like this is crazy to me am I am I holding an NES controller right now I don't even know I think I might be fucking blue shell those missing everything Sees, Mike sees an 8-bit. I do. I only see an 8-bit. I don't, I can't, I don't know anything else. Chode wins. You remember when you thought the N64 graphics were as good as it was ever going to get? <laughs> I can't imagine. I didn't think that then when the N64 was out. I was like, what's wrong with this? Why, did, why is Link's nose a polygon? That's funny. I remember having those thoughts with, like, maybe GameCube. Because then they were able to, like, smooth out the graphics and make, like, fucking circles actually be like circles and I was like wow this looks fucking awesome you know but with N64 it was very obvious that it could look better Never get the triple red shells, like ever. And there's one thing in there that looks like a, like a Mario Kart 8 like logo or something. I don't even remember what that is. Come on. I hope that something hits somebody. Boop. 
fuck? Alright, second, I'll take that. Fine. <laughs> Mischief Makers ain't bad, but the control screen scheme is really strange. Use the D-pad to move and the C buttons to do the other stuff. Yeah, uh, Leaf1223, I was, I was playing a little bit of it the other day. Um, shake, 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 shake. Um, it's, 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 it's like a cool game. It's, it's definitely very weird controls and it's something to get used to, but it's kind of the kind of thing where if you put a lot of time into playing it, you probably get like used to it. Same thing for uh, Sin and Punishment. Like, I didn't think the controls were bad, just like a lot of, you need a lot of getting used to it. Mischief Makers has a massive skill ceiling. Um, but yeah, I would say like, pr like just practice with the controls. Like a lot, that's like a lot of time to get used to those kind of very different control scheme. But people used to ask us to do that for um, for AVGN, and fans would send emails in, and they would say, "You should do Mischief Makers for AVGN." So James had never played it, um, so he we put the cartridge in the intro, and then there, we got lots of emails after that, and it was like. Um, you know, oh, why is Mischief Makers in the intro? It's not, it's not a bad game. Um, so that was really came from a lot of fans emailing in, and I think now, now playing it more, now I understand. So there was probably a lot of people that played that game that were probably just like, oh, this game sucks because you know they couldn't control it when really. It's just a game that requires a lot of practice and know-how and, and whatnot. And, you know, and honestly, like, in a, in a way, sort of, like, E.T. is a little like that. It's, like, not as bad as people make it out to be. It's, it's like, it requires a lot of know-how and practice and, you know, reading the instructions and really, you know, buckling down and, like, figuring the fucking thing out. Um... Yeah, that eight, that eight in the in the items. What is the eight again? Does anyone remember? I don't remember what that what that even is. Um, but yeah, we used to put things in the intro uh, to the AVGN when we do we would do the intro. That a lot of times people would get really confused because we would just stick random things in there. But we, we like to uh, just like put like random things in there, things that maybe we were thinking about doing a video or you know hadn't been done yet. And then then what would happen is like so I remember one video I recorded a ton of footage for I have no idea what episode it was, but I recorded a ton of footage for, of like ColecoVision games and like in television games. I think it was mostly ColecoVision games. And I did a bunch of like ColecoVision games that were never in an AVGN episode. And we put that in there. And then when that came out, people were like, did, did I miss the Coleco? Did I miss? The there was an episode where he played all these ColecoVision games. And then it was like, uh, then we put like other shots of other random games. Because I had been, I would play like, um, I don't know, some random fucking game, and then we'd like stick it, stick footage of the game in the intro, because it was, might have been stuff like we had been thinking about maybe doing an episode on, or it was just like, might have been playing it to do an episode on it, but then ended up where it was like, okay, this one is not really worth doing a whole AVGN video on, but... Um, not really worth doing a whole AVGN video on, but at least a little bit of the footage could be put into the intro, if nothing else, to like kind of not waste recording all that footage. We put a little bit of it in, in, in the intro, but it turned out that that was just confused people a lot of times, and they they would think that they like missed an episode because it wasn't clips from an episode that had already come out. So it was like, you know, so I don't know. 
and then sometimes James would record things. Like, people always get confused over the thing of, uh, he put a Neo Geo cartridge on a scale, um, just for, it was just a sh thing he thought was funny, because Neo Geo carts are really big, so he puts the Neo Geo cart on a scale, that's it, and he just did a shot of that, and he put it in the, in an intro, and then ever since, like, after that, it's like, what episode is it where he puts the Neo Geo, it's like, it's not, it's not in an episode, it's just a thing he shot for the intro, and so we got things like that, and it just, like, confused, it confused people, I think. <laughs> Hey, thank you very much for the raid for Itchy Tasty RPD for the raid. I appreciate that. Oh, and Wave Race 64 looked okay. Uh, Wave Race 64 is <laughs> does look okay. Wave, I, I, I think that game is a nice looking game for sure. In your Mike and Tony video, you said it, that I don't get into N64 as quick as everyone else, so it's not surprising that it didn't amaze me. Uh, which game that doesn't amaze me? I don't know which game you're talking about, but yeah, no, I yeah, I was I had said many times I was kind of out when the N64 was coming out it was like the only period in my life where I was kind of like not into games for a while. I was more into whatever, just other other things. So. You'd like like to see a new wave race on the Switch? Yeah, we were making a list earlier of games that it'd be cool if they made a new version of uh, Rogue Squadron, F Zero, Pilot Wings, Wave Race, Gradius. So. Gonna play Animal Crossing or Doom? Probably not Animal Crossing. Um, I don't think it's really my thing, but. Uh, Doom, I'm definitely gonna try it. I hope I hope it's as good as the 2016 one. We'll, we will see. Um, I downloaded Diablo for Switch, um, so I, m I might try that. Cause you guys, I don't know if you remember, I, d I did that whole Diablo stream of Diablo One um, with Gar Bad. If you guys remember that, those streams. Um, so I might I might try out Diablo on Switch. Maybe. Um, at some point, I'll, I'll try out Dead Space 2. Uh, I, I actually want to go back and play more Halo. Um, I know people say they, like, they, they don't like Halo 4 and whatever. I, I didn't mind Halo 4, honestly. I, in the beginning of the game, I, I was not digging it at all. But the more I played it and I got further into it, I actually started to kind of like it. But um, uh, but I want to try. I think I want to try Halo Three though. A lot from what I've read and from what people have told me, like that's the one people want me to try more so. So I might I might try Halo, Halo Three. We'll see. Did I really lose this by one fucking point? Are you fucking kidding me? Halo 4 campaign is good. The multiplayer sucks, though. You should play them in order. Yeah, I was doing the campaign. I, I, I don't. I never tried the Halo 4 multiplayer. Who is your favorite wrestler, Mike? I I know absolutely nothing about wrestling. Um. I, I mean, I've seen a little bit of, uh, like, Hulk Hogan era, like, wrestling stuff, like, back then. Um, I, I mean, I, you know, I'll watch a little stuff here and there. Uh, I mean, I think some of the old wrestling stuff is, like, really funny. Um, but, like, like I've watched a little bit of old clips. I, I think, I, like, some of the older stuff, I could probably actually get into it. Because I, I, I was watching a clip of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Um, no, was it Andre the Giant? I think it was Andre the Giant. I think it was Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant 
I know nothing about wrestling. Uh, and they were sitting at a table, and they were doing like they were, neither one of them were sta- saying a word. They were just staring at each other, and some other guy was like talking back and forth to them, and they're like, you know, negotiating like their upcoming fight or something like that. And they're just like staring at each other, and it's actually really fucking hilarious. Um, so like, I, I don't know. I, I I never got into wrestling as a kid. Uh, never. I've never watched wrestling. I know nothing about it. Uh, I didn't play wrestling video games, anything like that. Uh, but it it is something that uh, that era. Like back then, I I could probably some point in my life I could probably go and binge watch some of that era, like the you know the Hulk Hogan kind of era. I I, I am interested in, to see some more of that, but more so, uh, like I don't really have any interest in the wrestling part of it personally. But like the actual like the relationships of the characters and like some of the funny like um, situations they were like. Um, manufacturing uh, that's pretty that's actually pretty interesting to me and I, I might as someday I just never really got into it but I, I would like to see some more of that because it's pretty some of that shit is pretty actually funny there's actually if you if you guys look at um, the toys that made us they did one on like the wrestling toys and it starts out with this of Hulk Hogan I should get the clip for here and and he's like he's like scream he's like screaming or something and it's like really fucking funny um so I can imagine myself getting into it but it's just something that I've never I've never gotten into what do you think of Mario Kart 8 watch the Undertaker he's by far the most entertaining uh what do I think what do I think of Mario Kart 8? Uh, I, I love this game. I think I think it's great. I mean, I'm I'm always gonna love the Super Nintendo game the most. That's the one I, you know, I'm, I'm the most nostalgic for, and I I played the most, and that's the one I'm like actually good at. Um, like I'm not very good at this, but like I think I think this game's great. I think it's the best one they've really done since since that. To me, I mean, I, like I said, everybody's got their own, you know, opinions on, on these games and how they feel about them. I know a lot of people that love Double Dash. A lot of people, I feel like, I feel like these the N sixty four one is probably the most popular one, right? But now that now that there's been so many um, Mario Kart games, it's kind of like uh, I feel like a lot of people really like the Wii one, actually. Uh, so and a lot other people like the uh, the um, you know, uh, Game Boy Advance one. So it's really like, there's a lot of people that love a lot of the different Mario Karts. There's just a lot of love for this series. Um, it's one of the greatest series of all time. Like I said, the Super Nintendo game, it's my favorite Super Nintendo game is, is Mario Kart. So, I mean, it's one of the best video game series like ever made and they're still going with it. It's just, I don't know where they're going to go from here with it. We'll, We'll see. Um, but I mean, I gave out a lot of ideas tonight for things that they could do. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they do. But I do hope they keep it Mario themed. And I like. I don't really want to see see this shit down here. They got you got Splatoon and Link and Animal Crossing. Like they're already kind of starting to put other things in there. I don't really want to see that. I want them to keep it Mario. That's just me. But um. I don't know. So I'm going to try this again here. What did I get? Let's see if these fucking... Are these tires any good at all? Come on. They might be good. They actually might be pretty good. What was I using before? Oh, those. The traction's there. Other oh, track. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'll, I'll try them. I'll do some high reel, high reel, high reel. I said, I'll do some high reel tires, whatever. Um, I guess I gotta do that again. I'll, I'll come back to that. Um, what should I gotta do? Let's do. Let's try this bell cup thing. Every time you look up wrestling information, you find it really easily. 
uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I'll say one thing about wrestling. They have the most well-documented fandom out there. Their wiki pages and knowledge resources are very thorough. You think as much as Star Trek? <laughs> what do you, which, which, which fandom do you guys think is more obsessive? Let, let's do a poll. Which, so, so, how, like, I make this right, though. How am I going to say, say this? Like, how much the fans get into it, basically, is what I mean. So, let, let's see, like, to what, like, level of fandom. Let's, let's see what wins this. So, I'm going to do a poll. Oops, where is this? New poll. Okay. Star Trek. Star Trek versus wrestling fandom. So this is specifically which one do the fa not which one's better or anything like that. It's which one do they get more into? Like, do Star Trek fans get more into Star Trek, or do wrestling fans get more into wrestling? So I'm gonna put that in the chat, and we'll see what see what uh, people vote. I'm gonna start in the poll now. We'll see what people say, because I know Star Trek fans get really <laughs> into Star Trek, really into Star Trek, and you know, wrestling fans get really into wrestling. So we'll see. We'll see what people vote. Um, you guys remember that do that uh, uh, Trekkies documentary where the lady dressed up in the Starfleet uniform and she went into court. She had to do jury duty and she literally went and she like refused to take the thing off. So she did jury duty in the Starfleet uniform and like stuff like that. It's like next level. Biggest, biggest fanboys. I guess. I guess. I wasn't like thinking when I was saying like as fanboys, but I guess. I meant more like, because we were talking about like Wikipedia pages and stuff, like how, like, into the details and things. That's kind of like more what I was talking about. I, I guess the fandom of it, but sort of like the minutia of like getting into the real like nitty gritty. Like that's kind of what I was thinking. You didn't even know you could I, you could do polls on Twitch. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been doing polls on Twitch for like six months or something. <laughs> How did you? I can't believe you missed that. Um, could a Star Trek fan suplex a wrestling fan? Uh, maybe some. <laughs> Lord of the Rings wiki. Oh, Lord of the Rings. That's another one. We could we could do we could do those versus each other too. How does one participate in the poll? So you, you can't be on your phone, but if you're on a desktop, you can like you can like vote. Kirk, Captain Kirk could have been a pro wrestler. <laughs> yeah, the polls don't show on the phones. So if you're on your phone, you can't do it. It's for desktop people. Anyway, okay, so let's do, uh, where, where am I at with this? Oh yeah, I'm doing the uh, whatever cup this is. It looks like wrestling's ahead right now, so it's probably gonna be wrestling. You feel, you feel like not only could Kirk be a pro wrestler, he'd really want to be one too. Oh, he'd like he'd want to be a pro wrestler, like the character, not William Shatner. But uh, oh my God, actually, can we get the fucking clip? Is there is there a mod in here? <coughs> can we get the clip of uh, William Shatner uh, at the wrestling? event where he fucking like sloop, like literally like fucking wrestles it's like from the 90 90s can somebody fucking put that in there and, fi and find that so there's a there's a clip and it's fuck it's great so okay so how do I even go about saying this this is like a, gonna be like a long fucking long winded thing um but basically in the 90s William Shatner was on some wrestling thing and he he wrestled some wrestler and you know, like, beats the shit out of him. And what's really funny is, so, it was probably around the time of, like, Star Trek Five or Star Trek Six or something like that, right? He did this. And what's 
I found interesting in it, about it, and because you guys know I'm a big like Star Trek the original series fan, so one of the great things about watching the original Star Trek is like the cheesy, goofy fights. You know, Captain Kirk does the double karate chops to the guy's neck and you know beats up 15 guys all by himself and stuff like that. Um, or he'll like jump off the side of a wall. He does these like these ridiculous kind of like wrestling move kind of things. Uh, so in the Star Trek movies, like from the 80s, and he doesn't really do much fighting. I mean, there's a little bit. Like he fights like Christopher Lloyd and stuff like that. But there's not really like too much. Where on the original series in the 60s, he like every week he was fighting something pretty much. So when you watch the wrestling thing it's like the first time you see Shatner doing his like Captain Kirk like fighting moves since like the 1960s for the most part um like that same like swagger and those same like his his, his like fighting stance and shit that's what I thought was interesting cause like you don't really see that since like the 1960s like him doing his like fighting you know his fighting acting I guess you want to call it Oh my god, I almost just fell off the side there. So, yeah, if we, if we can get that clip in there. That's a great, hilarious clip. And I, I forget who, who found that, but somebody on Twitter sent that to me. And I didn't even know that existed, because I guess I didn't watch wrestling. Wow, I fucking totally blew that. You're surprised Shatner didn't do pro wrestling on how much he loves doing fake fighting. Okay, so wrestling won that poll, by the way. All right, I'm gonna uh, we go to quit after this. I, I have to redo this thing again. Start like that. It was really bad. Pope Smear says wrestling is for people with pimply scrotums. Well, if that's true, then what kind of scrotums do Star Trek fans have? Not pimply, but maybe, uh... <laughs> Taka says massive. <laughs> yeah, Trekkies have massive balls. That, that was that was not the that was not the response I expected to see first. I, I was I was thinking we were gonna get some kind of gross, you know, <laughs> some gross terminology, but. <laughs> create like that giant explosion too like come on throw your fucking red shell oh he throws it back he's throwing it backwards at me yeah god forbid it hits anybody except for me man they're being rough on this fucking course more so than more so than usual god damn
Fuck you and your banana. Oh my god. No, come on! I wonder if the rain on the level actually affects anything. Or if it's just cosmetic. Third. That's pretty shitty too. I'll keep going. It's pretty fucking terrible, though. Rom Hook says Trekkie's scrotums are as big as those rocks that Captain Kirk threw at that lizard man. Well, I guess he did push a boulder off of Vasquez rocks at the Gorn lizard man. You get out of my chat. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard man, get the fuck out of here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't even know what a Gorn is. What kind of a fan are you? Look at this level. This level's awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't know the Gorn? Um, from the episode Arena... Hello. Jesus Christ. Actually, you know what? This is this is the uh, this is the last course in all the things, isn't it? Am I doing the last one? I think I am. It's, so there, it's probably harder than the other ones, huh? I probably did that on purpose. I think that's the one I'm doing. I like the Bowser, like, jack-in-the-box uh, Mario World things. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Those giant toads. I got first. Maybe. Maybe I can pull it together. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Thank you, Leaf Green. That thanks, Father Axe Keeper. Some more serious Sam. Serious Sam is a lot of fun. It's a good, very good game. I should play some of the other ones. Um, most people seem to tell tell me when I was as I was streaming those games, I got the impression mostly that the one I was playing was the one to be playing. But I'm curious to try out the other ones sometime. Like, some people recommended the other Serious Sam games, but it seemed to be mostly that I wanted to play the, the one I was doing. What the hell did I just do? And I'm gonna get hit. Go ahead. Oh, no. Eat a dick.
Fuck it. Are you serious? Toad just did that. Fucking two red shells. Like, fuck you. shell with my uh, horn thing what is that item called that like horn thing that you can like whatever kill things with <laughs> thank you big boiter super horn is that is it, it's super horn really that's what it's called all right so I need to win this next thing It's a live stream, Ripster, like, what do you want? It's good enough. This game, this game doesn't have a manual, who knows? That's true. You can do anything you want to do with this manual. Maybe, maybe losing the races is how you're supposed to play, because there's no fucking manual. Right? Where the fuck is the manual? You can play it however you want since there's no rules. There's no manual. This is how they brought us F Zero, by the way. They're like, oh, you want F Zero? Here's a couple in Mario Kart. Shut the fuck up. That's that's what Nintendo is saying with this level. Here, here's what here's what your F Zero game would be that you're never gonna get. That that is what this is. They're like, isn't it awesome? <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> they're like, isn't this exactly what you want? Yeah, we know it is. Guess what, motherfuckers? Never, never, motherfuckers. I hope you enjoy looking at this. We're gonna make it look as awesome as possible because we want you to know, that we want you to feel the pain of what you're gonna miss out on for all eternity. Fourth? Oh shit. I thought there was like another lap. God damn it. Fuck you, Yoshi. Dun, 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 dun. In Mario Kart Tour, it's called Super Horn. At least there's daily challenges. <laughs> Let's do. So we got, I got Castle Crashers on here. I'm gonna try this Diablo game soon. This game's really cool. Pixel Junk Monsters. I don't know if you guys have ever um, seen that. It's like a tower defense game. I'm probably gonna stream that soon. Um, Fast RMX. You guys wanna see this real quick? I'm gonna show you, I'll show you this really quickly. Um, so I, I haven't really played this but just really quick just so you can see the graphics on this game are really fucking cool so this is kind of like the kind of thing where you just do it like over and over and over oh god inconsistent volume top 10 games is inconsistent volume that's the video i'm gonna make all right i just want to show this to you real quick i need to like play this and like get into it but this seem this game seems like it could be cool Oh, 
So this is like an F-Zero. Oh, you know what? This isn't the thing I was even thinking of. I was thinking of, uh... This is totally not the game I was thinking of. So this is like, this is basically like F-Zero. Sorry, you know what? I was totally thinking of a different game. So I have this. So this is kind of like if they were to make an F-Zero game, like on the Switch. Um, it's got like an Ikaruga thing going for it. Where it's like, I should just tell people that this, this is, oh guys, by the way, this is the new, um, this is the new F-Zero on the Switch. How do you like it? Isn't it cool? Yeah, but this is totally not the game I was going to show you that. I was thinking of a different game. I can't remember. The other one's called Track something. Anyway, yeah, so that's the, that's the new F-Zero. That's not, that's not even the game I was going to, what the hell is the name of the one I was thinking of here? Wait, let me quit this. It's, uh, I probably think I have it in here. I thought I did. Did I delete it? Oh, maybe I deleted it. Oh, never mind. I'll have to show you another time. There, anyway, there's another, like, driving game. Uh, that's cool. I'll have to show it to you another time. I think I, I think it's not on here right now. All right, I'm going to do a round of Timberman real quick, and then we'll get back to Mario Kart. The game I'm thinking of is on Xbox One. Oh, that's right. You remember what the name of it was? It was like Track something. Be local. Get Jason Voorhees back. All right, so, uh, yeah, I've been playing this in between, like, rounds of Mario Kart. Give me a little break for a minute. So the, so the red bar on the top is the important thing to, like, kind of pay attention to, because if that... If you don't, fuck, if you're not moving fast enough, the red bar will like drop. In fact, here, you know what I'll do? I'll just like, I'll go, I'll go really slow and then you'll see what happens, watch. See how like, how quick the bar is dropping? But if you go faster, the bar like, raises up. And you wanna basically keep that red high. And that's what that's what keeps you alive. So basically, you have to move. You have to move. Fuck fast. It's tough though. Trackmania Turbo. That's the name of it. That's the game I was thinking of. Sorry, it's like it's not even on Switch. I guess it's on Xbox One. Sorry, sorry. I mean, I uh, I only play. Enduro on a. I only play Dragster on Atari. I've never heard of an Xbox One. That's what I meant to say. What's that? my top that I have here? I gotta beat 278? I'm fucking gonna beat 278. I'm getting completely addicted to this. Oh, jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. What I need to do is I need to put on, I, I want to play this game and just put on a one of our playlists. P some people were making me playlists of um, like TV themes and stuff. I should put on those playlists and do and just play this fucking game until I get like 20 million fucking points. My high right now is like 250 or something. I want 2 million. That's how I feel about this game. <laughs> That's how far I want to go with it. I want the high score. I don't even want the high score in the world. I want the high score like that like fucking if C-3PO were playing the game or something, like, I'd beat his fucking score.
Like, f fuck world high scores. I'm going for, like, universe, multiverse high scores. F what the hell did I just do? But that was at the top, actually. Oh, 341, that was my best, with a really dumb mistake. Um, all right, so, I mean, I got high. I'll quit that for now. All right, so back to Mario Kart. That was just a quick, quick little break. Uh, Castle Crashers, by the way, is a cool, cool game, too. That's older now. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played and heard of Castle Crashers. Um, I beat I beat that game many years ago. I think with Ryan, uh, not on a video. We were just playing it just for fun, and it was a uh, fun fun game. A long time ago, I think I played it back then on Steam. Uh, that might have been one of the first things I played on Steam. Actually, Castle Crashers, Mario Kart Eight. All right, so we are going to go back to whatever the fuck I was doing. It was. It was the level with the F zero. Does it save all my settings? I think this is all the shit I was using, right? Um, was it this one? No, because I have the thing. Hang on a second. Which one has it? Oh, this is a big blue. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Bum, 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 bum. <coughs> Castle Crashers is rad. You used to play Castle Crashers on Xbox 360. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe it was 360 that I played it on. Actually, it might have been 360, not. Steam, now that I think about it. There's no way I beat a robot at that. You don't know that. <laughs> I got an A plus in Bars Nightmare. I can beat a robot at that game, all right? <laughs> One of these days. Sure, sure, I can beat a robot at just going left and right on a D-pad, no problem. <laughs> Alright, so basically if I don't take first place on this, I'm gonna just restart because I'm gonna have no fucking chance, I don't think. God, these turns I'm making are awful. I really have to wonder on this particular stage, this seems really hard to turn. I wonder if it's the rain or if that's just... Is, anybody know, is the rain just cosmetic on this or does it actually affect the track? Because I feel like it's... I don't know, it feels a little different. Maybe it's the same thing, I don't, I don't know. I know when you go like underwater, it's like I think it's pretty much the same. I want to do that um, haunted mansion level again. I love that level. Damn it. Oh yeah, go ahead and hit me. That's fine. Oh, it hits me and then knocks me off. Fuck you. Jesus. Oh, come on! Fucking Yoshi! <clears throat> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, Jim. This is just not good. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. You hit somebody. Hit Toad. Fine. Damn it! Fucking knock me into the wall with that. Is that Metal Mario? Fuck! Go! Go! It's somebody. Ugh. Damn it! What the hell happened? Oh no! Fucking shit! Ah, I wish right here, it's it, like, let me fucking restart it. Why do I have to wait for this? Little shit like that drives me out of my fucking mind. Also, it should say reset fucking race. Hang on a second. See this right here? There's a, an improvement. You need a replay thing instead of having to quit out of the whole thing. Like, replay the whole thing. Like, where's the replay fucking button? 
That, that's the thing that drives me crazy in like a lot of games. If you guys have been like following my streams, whenever there, there isn't like a fucking replay thing, like all these kind of games should have that. It drives me fucking nuts. And then you find some games that do have it, and then it's like, that's what, and then it's like, oh great, it has it. You know, good, they got it right. And then when it doesn't have it, it's just like, it just feels like annoying because they don't have it. Man, this is a tough course. <sighs> I think it affects the track in other Mario Karts that were similar or mechanics. So the rain, X awesome. Phidias McCormick also said the rain fucks you up. So far from real says rain does affect the track. Okay, so people are saying it does actually affect it. Okay, so I'm not totally crazy then. All right. I thought it felt a little different. What? I hit those? They didn't fucking give me the items? Somebody clipped that. Didn't I fucking hit those items right there? And it didn't give it to me? The hell was that? Or did somebody else get it? The hell happened? Oh my god. This fucking track. Somebody's gonna hit me with a blue shell or some fucking fuck. How about a green shell? That's what they said. Toad's like, how about a green shell? Mm. I'm Toad. Fuck! Oh man. Well, you fucked on this. Ugh. Second? I mean. Fuck, I'm gonna take a second and keep moving. <sighs> you want an answer from Mike? I know it's his gave game of all time. You mean favorite game of all time besides Doom? My favorite, uh, you want to know my favorite games? Is that what you're asking? Besides Doom? Uh, Zelda, like Warcraft 2, Tides of Darkness, um, games I love. Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo, uh, uh, I don't know. Um, LJN video art. <laughs> no, uh, I really like Dark Souls a lot. Um, Dead Space is fucking amazing. Uh, Batman Arkham City is really fucking great. Batman on NES. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Now I'm just listing games all day. Is that your, was that your question? But yeah, I, I do love the Doom games. Um, uh, honestly, that uh, fucking... Jesus. Uh, 
uh, Rogue Squadron is fucking great. I, I can play that like endlessly. Um, let's say I, I like Kaboom on Atari. Uh, I don't know. What else? Jesus, I'm all over the place. This is real bad. Well, if I don't take first, I'm gonna start over. Ah. Well, maybe we can do this. Oh, nice. All right, so I'll keep it going. Second and first. RoboJack says, Hail Satan, a Satan worshiper. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. We got Satan worshipers here. <coughs> Clutch Red Shell. Madden is my favorite game or not. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, if I really was pressed to pick, probably Madden. It's a hard pick between Madden 2003 or Madden 2008. Um, 2007's all right, but uh, I, I, I don't, you guys know for a fact that I do not like Madden 2006. But Madden 2003 is hard to beat. Um, Madden 2010 is uh, pretty mediocre. They brought it back with Madden 2011. Um, but I really like, uh, yeah, I, I really, I really like Madden 2012 a lot. 2013's pretty good, but really, they, they, they it, they'll never get it back probably to how good it was. Like Madden 2003 was like primo Madden. And those are such desired games, you know? Like whenever you go to a game store and you look at you're looking through like old like Wii games or like fucking PS2, man, everybody you can't even find them. You can't even find like Madden games cuz they're so like desired. Like when I when I look through games at like a GameStop stop or not a game not GameStop, but like a game store, I can always find like copies of um like Panzer Dragoon Saga is really easy to find, really cheap. Um, Little Samson is really easy to find. But a game like Madden, oh my God, they're so they're so hard to get because they're so they're so in demand. They're so good. You'll you'll never you'll never see anybody trying to trade those in for for a penny. You see people like in like GameStop being like, uh, hey, so I have every single Madden game that ever existed. Uh, do you think I'd be able to get like uh, 35 cents for them? And the guy's like, get out of my store! <laughs> Pretty much. He's like, how dare you try to sell that shit here? <laughs> that's, the, that's the one thrill that they get anymore from working at fucking GameStop. They can tell that people are trying to sell their Maddens to get the fuck out. <laughs> that's the pa that's the power. That's the power trip. This is going really badly and I'll lose this. Thirty five cents sold. <laughs> I have every Madden game ever made. I'm gonna start collecting the Madden games. It's probably gonna cost me a total of a buck. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna I'm gonna collect every Madden game, and then I'm gonna make a display case specifically for Madden. And James is gonna come over to my fucking house. And next to my fucking, like, whatever, NES display case, I'm gonna have a fucking mat. I'm not gonna tell them that I'm doing it. I'm gonna make a fucking Madden display case. Every Madden game, all of them, I'm gonna get them all fucking lined up. And James is gonna be like, 
the fuck happened to you? <laughs> it's like, don't you remember this fucking ABGN shit? Don't you remember all these years of like, video games we played? Mike, what happened to you? I'd be like angry. I'd be like, I'll be like, what happened to you, bro? What happened to you, bruh? You don't fucking play Madden? The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Where's your mad? Where's your Madden display, bro? And then he'll be like, you know what? You're right. I realized. I realized the, the ways of John Madden. <laughs> Christ. This is about how far that would go if I actually try. I'd, I'll buy like two Madden games, and then I'll be like, "Eh, fuck this! I don't really want these in my. I don't really want these in my house." <clears throat> oh, it looks like I'm in first place here. Looks like I'm in first place. <coughs> Who took first place? Looks like it was this guy here, huh? Going crazy. Thank you, Walker Texas Dangler, for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. Four, 420 co coins I just got, guys. 420. Bra. Jesus Christ, I hate that. All right, um, so where are we at here? I did like almost all of this now, right? Are we done yet? <laughs> did I fucking do this yet? <sighs> oh, what did we get? Hey, look at that, one up. It's the one up cart. Do, 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 and it's not that great. It doesn't look like, I'm sticking with my little ship here. It's, it's been doing me well. Uh, all right, so is literally the only thing left. Oh, I have a fucking silver in that. And then special cup. Uh, see, special cup, this rainbow road fucks me up so badly. But maybe if I can... But if, I tell you what, if I can get, like, first place in the first three, and then the last one I'll probably fucking, like, lose because I'm fucking terrible at it. I can't fucking do this last course in this, um, but uh, that's what that's gonna be my method. Try to take first in in cloud cock, cloud cock cruise. That's not how you say it. Cloud top cruise, bone dry boner dunes. I just Bowser cock fuck shit. All right, I'm going on break. I'll be back. It's like Super Nintendo has like mushroom flower star and it's like less. I, th I feel like the courses are longer in the Super Nintendo one, too. Like, they take longer to, like, go through a course. I could time that out and say. Don't, don't the courses seem quicker in this game? I guess some are longer than others. Oh. doing the right one. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Why do I feel like I'm not doing the right course? No, I think I am. Great. Oh, no. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh my god. That should save me, I hope. Hope to god. Oh my god, that slowed me down. Oh! How close was that? Does it save the time? Oh, it doesn't actually show the fucking seconds? Wait, what? In the Mario Kart, it shows like the fucking seconds, I was pretty sure. It doesn't show the, like, the milliseconds or whatever? The nanoseconds? Seriously? I, I can't believe that. Crazy Bus is the best game on Sega Genesis. All right, I took seconds, so it's not too bad. So if I do any, you know, pretty much I need, need to be taken like first here. If I, if I take anything less than second, I will, I'm gonna restart. Really, I need to be taken first to do this though, because I'm gonna fucking be awful at the last thing. Oh no. Oh fuck, what am I doing? of me taking first here, or not looking great. <laughs> I have a hard time with this course. Ah! Oh. I guess that's why I haven't done it yet. Jesus Christ! Oh man, they're like not giving me anything. Can make that goddamn turn. This is awful. Well, I need like a miracle device here. It's not happening. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's try this again. Terrible. Man, I fuck I suck at that race. It's probably the one I'm worse at. That and that Rainbow Road one. The modern Rainbow Road. Basically two of the ones I'm worst at. That Bone Dry Dunes and, Rain and that Rainbow Road. These two are it's fucking really bad at them. <sighs> My rivals are ruthless on this track. It's, it's the track itself too is rough. But yeah.
hold on to that bomb. Screw me. Hmm. This course is so cool looking. Yep, boom. I guess at least, at least it happened there instead of last lap. M imagine if that was the last lap. I would've been so fucking angry. No, no, no! Fuck you. Fourth now, great. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Don't, 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 don't. Oh my god. It's because I was trying to like hold the shell behind me. Should have just been concentrating on driving. Alright, I took first in that. Let's. Now I need to take first in this one. Gluey, well, the Simon's Quest uh, nerd episode basically was a thing James made to show to me, so, and we did stuff before that, um, so, 2001, I think was the first, uh, Cinemassacre related thing we did together. We did, uh, a thing called, uh, It Came From Beyond the Toilet, which is a 2001 Cinemassacre production. It's where I'm eaten by a shit monster in a garbage bag. It's a brilliant film. It's about one minute long. <laughs> Shot on film. <laughs> Literally. What do you need besides one minute? That's all, you, that's all I needed was a minute. <laughs> Fucking two red shells now? <laughs> they are brutal on this level. But clean. Mm -hmm. Shit. Look at how bad this is. Fuck this course, man. I can't do this fucking course. <sighs> oh my god, we got the F-Zero thing. Is it gonna be any good, though? Not really. I wish I could like, I wish you could do what you'd like do in Neo where you could change one thing into another thing so it's like I could use that cart <clears throat> but have the stats be the same. Whatever that ability is called in Neo. It's like a thing on the blacksmith.
I cannot get that sand dune chorus. It's like Koopa Troopa's weak level. level and even if I take first and fucking do awful on that next level. Oh no. There, alright. This track makes you wish you had a flying pirate ship. Don't we all wish we had that? Koopa throwing his own weapon is kind of cute. Oh, like Koopa having a shell. He's like this right here. <laughs> so this shells of his dead, uh, dead friends. It's his mother, his father, and his grandparents right there. Dark. Fuck. See that he had the bananas. Hear Toad yelling back there. Mama! Or whatever. <laughs> whatever fucking set whatever he says. Again, again! <laughs> I'm the baby, gotta love me. Damn it, how many fucking banana peels can a person have? Damn, fuck, I'm taking it. I never fucking do that on that course. Alright. 
now I really got to do this. This is the, my this is my time to shine. So Link is a problem. Bowser Jr. and Toad. Let's so watch out for those guys. All right, now it's gonna get real. I need to I need to do this level. This has been the biggest challenge uh, so far applying this. Oh, this one. All right. Indiana Jones time, fuck, 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 all right. Sharks with freaking laser beams. Shell me or something. Fuck. I can't see. I can't see. Fuck. I couldn't fucking see which way to turn. Fuck you. the time I want to know how close he was that's something about the old Mario Kart they would show like the fucking decimals the fuck come on all right well I got a good score here the problem is I fucking suck at um, this next level so as long as I can place with anything I should win so I might get through this here I really gotta really gotta do this <clears throat> All right, this is the one, this is the one I'm worst at. So, <clears throat> if I can take anything, fourth place, thir third or fourth place would be nice. If I can take third, I'd be very happy. just happened there somebody pushed me off I don't even know eighth see this is fucking it's course nine tenth it's like it's so this course is so ridiculous Fuck. <clears throat> 
Ooh. It'd be nice if it took out like a bunch of them if they're all like together. And it's like they're giving me items too. Uh. Ninth place. Look at this. This course is so. This course is like fucking harder than any other course, like by far. Oh, come on, put me back. Fuck! I hate this. I hate that fucking course. Can't do anything on that. Did I lose because of that? No, I still fucking won. Wow, that's how far ahead I was. I hate that fucking course, I can't do it. So now they actually have like an ending thing. Wow, this looks like shit all of a sudden. What happened to the graphics? They decided to make that like end graphics look like shit. Why does the actual game look like way better than the fucking end screen here? The fuck. It's like they just pulled. You know, it's like they pulled it from the Wii, the regular. Did they take this from the regular like Wii U version? And like not upgrade it. This is just like a movie file that they're playing. Is that what's happening here? Did they not like fucking bother to redo it. Not only did they not bother to make a Mario Kart game for the Switch, but they didn't bother to uh, make a new ending for the Switch either. For the, for they didn't even bother to make a new ending. They're like, oh. Yeah, remember that game you bought for Wii U? Here it is on the Switch, and we're not even gonna make a new ending. Hope you buy it again, asshole. Oh, you wanted a new ending? Oh, oh, first of all, you wanted a new game. You already played Mario Kart 9 on the Wii U, and now you wanted a Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, and now you want a Mario Kart 9? Ha, huh, good one. We're gonna re-release the same game and not even make a new ending. Fuck you. That's what that's what this ending tells me. Tony Too Cool says, I was so happy when I first when I got first on this one doing this cup, getting three stars was a constant retry after retry. Yeah, oh my god, getting first on that, I can't that'd be like it'll take forever to do that. That's definitely the hardest course, in my opinion, in, in the game. Is that, is that Rainbow Road? Oh my god, you gotta fucking wait through this. This is, like, seriously isn't skippable either. Maybe I wouldn't mind watching it as much if they, like, redid it, but now it's, like, an old fucking video file from the fucking Wii U, so... I don't want to look at your fucking shitty, like, fucking ending that you didn't bother to put any fucking effort in. It's like, oh, let's drop the fucking MPEG in there. Or whatever fucking file they use on here. I can't do it comes in first place every time. Yeah, I, well, I didn't do that last one. I didn't do the Rainbow Road one. But um, I didn't think I was going to be able to come in first place on that desert one. Uh, fucking that, that course is hard to do.